Hello everyone and welcome to the first installment of the WC Web TV pregame show out here at War Eagle Stadium. Uh, getting this, uh, we're at the Timber Bowl right now and Wayne Academy and South Choctaw are playing the first game of the Timber Bowl and Kenny and I are getting ready to uh, welcome these War Eagles out here in a little while when the Jaguars and the Rebels get through. But our, our business tonight is uh, the Wayne County High School War Eagles and West Jones. And, how, you know, getting this thing started, starting off with West Jones, I mean, that just kind of makes you just like rubbing your hand down a chalkboard, making all kind of weird noises and making you feel strange, huh? Well, it's kind of like opening up with Ole Miss. Uh, <laughs> Alabama and USC, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's big. But you go up with a good rivalry game, you should have a good attendance. And, of course, you're not going to really know a lot about your football team until after this week. Uh, Coach Mangum and his, his staff got a little feel for it last week. But now this will be the first real game experience. So this is where you start to find out. And, you know, I don't know if it's a good choice to pick West Jones to find out what you can do or not. Well, you know, you never know. I mean, Wayne County has a decided advantage in the win-loss record, but I mean, they'll beat you when you when when you don't think they're going to beat you in the most inopportune times. And it is a big rivalry game, and one of the most documented. I I say it without reservation. One one of the most documented high school rivalries in in the country. It's had the you know the head-to-head -head book uh, uh, series ten weeks. It went coast to coast in the book y'all versus us. So there'll be a lot laid on this field tonight. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know the. Print TV show in the book, man. We we made the big time, you know, and uh, and we've been on TV uh, a, a time or two for high school football games, you know, nationwide. So yeah, I mean, both these teams are known, a rivalry certainly known, uh, known across the state. You can see it on message boards as you as you look across there. So yeah, it's a great way to start, and and you know we're not in that district anymore. So yeah. this is going to be our, be our only opportunity to play them uh, this year. To play west so uh, it's, and it's going to be a little weird too because we fall back in that coast district now and that's going to be interesting you know i think west has got like eight returners coming back uh, on defense eight starters coming back on defense that ought to make them a pretty salty bunch offensively their number one quarterback went down early last year and they got a guy stepped in did a real good job for them they got a real good wide receiver what have you seen any film is there anything you can tell us about what to expect out of the mustangs tonight had seen any film on them that of course there's all you have left is what was last year so th this one everybody's going into kind of wondering but but you're right marshall they lost some uh, some good players uh during the season especially quarterback that hurt them uh but they had a good core of returning guys too and uh that's the other thing that we'll find out too about us is you know we we lost some pretty good football players off last year's team uh but we had some pretty good ones step up too especially toward the latter part of the season yeah, and we got we're starting this season with more than two returning starters like last year. So hopefully that's going to be bode well for us in their early goings. So anything else you might add to this uh, in our inaugural flight here for the 2017 season? Well, I think what should be still fresh in the minds, even though it's been uh, been eight months ago, is 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 that last game at at Picayune. I mean, you know that thing was back and forth, and we wind up getting beat by field goal, you know, with time running out and. We had fought and stayed in that football game to the end. And so for those guys, younger guys that stepped up, they had an opportunity to learn a lot and grow up. So hopefully we'll see that uh, come to fruition this year early. We're going to take a break. We appreciate that, k Dog. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be back with the head coaches of War Eagles, Todd Mangum, after this word from our sponsors. Welcome back, and as promised, we have the head coach of the War Eagles, Todd Mangum, with us, and we're coming to you from the field house while the first half of the Timber Bowl is going on outside. Uh, coach, you know, we uh kicking this thing off. It's kind of odd to be playing West Jones in the first game of the season. I mean, all the fur is going to start flying right off the bat this year. It is, no doubt about it, you know, because we've been in, in the same region for years and playing each other, and now since we're in different regions and, and opening up against uh, – you know, West Jones team, it does It does seem there's some similarities, but there's big differences in opening up with West Jones. Oh, man, all the, all the rivalry stuff kicks off right off the bat. You don't have time to prep for it, but I guess that makes it even more exciting. Let me ask you a question about West Jones. I know it's the first game of the, of the season, and that's got to be hard in itself to scheme for somebody. Uh, of course, you know, they've got a familiar name over there on offensive coordinator this year with Bud, but – you know, they have eight starters coming back on defense, and they usually are a really good defensive football team. I think I read that. What about their defense? What are we going to see them do? Can you tell? Yeah, well, they're going to be very, very good up front, especially their ends. Their ends are very active players, really, really good players. Uh, their two inside guys are going to be, uh, you know, going to be physical guys. 
Uh, their their middle linebacker uh, on level two of their defense is a really, really good player, and then they got good skill guys in the secondary. But it's going to be a typical West Jones defense. Uh, you know, good front. Uh, they're going to be very good tacklers and, and, and going to, you know, swarm to the ball. You know, uh, let's talk, flip the, flip the side over here to their offensive side. You know, I think they had a, their number one quarterback went down early last year and had a guy stepped up, and they got both those guys healthy this year. What can we expect, you know, knowing them like you, knowing, knowing Bud like you do, what do you expect? them to bring to the field tonight? Well, they're going to they're gonna line up and try to run the football. They're going to hit play action pass. And, you know, we've got to win on first down and third down. That's our big downs for us defensively. If we win on first down and, and, and keep them behind the chains there and make it second and long, third and long, we feel good about our chances. The screen game will be a big part of a part of West as offense. And depending on what quarterback we get, you know, we really don't know who we're going to get right now. If it's going to be the guy that's a runner-thrower that started the season last year but they lost to a knee injury or the, the guy we saw last year that played against us that's more of a passer and, and the guy that distributes the ball. So it just depends on, on who we see uh, is what we'll see offensively. Let's look at the War Eagle offense now for a minute or two. And, you know, we've got some new faces. I had the privilege of going down and watching, uh, you know, the, the Jamboree at, uh, at Biloxi last week and, you know, looking at some things. And I get way over my pay grade here talking. You can reel me in and, and, and save me on this. But you talk about those ends, you know, that the defense of West Jones is going to have. And we look at the offense that we're running, kind of getting out there, looking at those ends and making pitches. That ought to be some interesting matchups. We're going to test those ends with this offense. Oh, no doubt about it. You know, their their play, you know, what they'll do, which, I'm, you know, they, they saw us play last week too. And, you know, it, it, uh, you know they're going to try to take our, take our quarterback away from us in the run game. Fat had some big runs last week and made some plays with his feet. And uh, we need to do that uh, again this week. But it starts up front with those five guys blocking. We've got to be able to uh, reestablish the line of scrimmage, move the line of scrimmage. We've got to be able to run the ball a little bit more consistently than we did last week. Uh, we've got to do a, a better job of uh, throwing and catching the ball, not necessarily catching the ball, but throwing the ball. We've got to do good. And, you know, Fat's going to get better every week. He's going to make plays. He's a tenth grader, and and you know until you know in about uh, four weeks from now, he won't be a tenth grader anymore. But until that, uh, you know, he's he's our quarterback, and and uh, you know we're going to we're going to build our offense and around you know, you know the plays that he can make and getting the ball out to our playmakers. Defensively, you know, we've got, uh, you know, last year we had a couple of guys coming back as all we had. We got some, we got some, uh, uh, a lot of people back on defense. You know, we got Quentin, we got a couple of linebackers and defensive backs. Uh, how are you feeling about your defense right now? Who can we look to there to step up tonight? Well, we've got to do an excellent job against the run, you know, with Bivin, Sibley, and Braxton Lee, and uh, Lee Van Davis and Greg Robinson. Those five guys got to do a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, we've got to get better tackling. We've got to do a better job of tackling with our linebackers. We didn't tackle well last week, and that's un and hopefully that's we got that out of the way. We'll be better tacklers this week. And our secondary, our secondary is going to have to be aggressive on the run, but they're also going to have to play pass too because we're going to see, uh, you know, we're going to see the ball in the air. So I, I like what we're doing defensively. We've got to we've got to eliminate some uh, some penalties, some unnecessary penalties defensively. Uh, you know, we've got to, as I said before, we got to be good on first down and third down tonight. Coach, we appreciate what you do. We thank you for taking time with us. Wish you best of luck tonight and get those War Eagles going. We're going to take a break and we're going to be back with Wayne County High School War Eagle football. We'll see you after this break. The Bowl, the Raymond Rivette Timber LLC, Wayne County Timber Bowl to be exact. What a way to kick off the 2017 War Eagle season. And if this uh, new classic's not enough, we have Wes Jones coming to town. This is Marshall Wood along with Kenny Odom getting set to bring you all the nice action here on WABO Radio. Don't forget that you can track along with us on Facebook at War Eagle Football. Kenny, I know you're ready, so how about this matchup to start the season? 
I would be an interesting matchup, Marshall. These uh, these two football teams have met a lot since uh, 2002. We met a few times in the 1990s, but uh, it all got got for real starting about 2003. <laughs> and uh, some of the most epic ball football games played here and at West uh, were in that series. Oh yeah, you know it's a real documented, well documented series. We talked about that uh, before the before the, in our WC Web TV recorded uh, interview you know before the game started and uh, you know we're looking at this series and you, you wouldn't think that Wayne County would have a 16 to 6 lead in the overall series is but uh, like you said there's been some big 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 wins and some big 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 upsets on both sides of the ball in this thing since they've been playing well I think the, the it goes back to this Marshall is that your, your best teams from these two schools in the last 20 years were from 2002, 2003, which we didn't play in their district in 2002. We were 5A at that point, but uh, they were pretty good then. And for the next uh, five or six years, man, it was just, it was a war. It was the two biggest, two biggest moves in the pasture going at it. You know, Kenny, I remember in 2008, we had about as good a football team as, as we've ever had. And we were blowing through. We beat Meridian, who won a 6A state championship that year, 40-something to 13 here. And we were wiping everybody out. Beat West Jones in the regular season that year, 24 to 7. And then we went back over there and played them in the playoffs, getting ready to conquer the world. And they kicked the field over. Me is 10 to 7. I'll never forget that one. And that field goal took about 35 seconds to go from the time it was a kick to reach the uprights. I remember after the game, we were down on the field, and there was a little boy from Wayne County. He was crying and said, I hate West Jones. I hate West Jones. I hate West Jones. <laughs> Tell you what, a lot of history there. I mean, these uh, these two schools are only about 40 miles apart or so, and uh, and what you what you see is that, that intensity. That it, it's not as strong right now as it has been, uh, and, and that's due to the fact that we aren't hadn't been quite the football team that we've been in the last well, you know, years prior, and same thing for them, but uh, still, uh, that 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 ride was there. I'm, I'm in Ellisville every day down around those oh, that's right. pesky old South Jones <laughs> Braves. And uh, scattered around there are some West Jones wild Mustangs. And uh, <laughs> they find out out from Wayne County, they, they usually pass a comment or two. <laughs> you know, this is the Timber Bowl. And uh, this is the Raymond Revolt Timber LLC Wayne County Timber Bowl 2017. This is not the first Timber Bowl is the first, shall we say, in what modern history, I suppose. What did they say, the modern era? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Dale McKee put some stuff together, and we go back, and uh, the first Timber Bowl that I see a record of here was in 1950, uh, 1954 when Waynesboro played Myrick and beat them 26 to 13. Uh, you know, there's some matchups here between, uh, let's see. Waynesboro and Clara played to, to a Waynesboro victory of 9-7 in 1961. And uh, Waynesboro Central played beat four and won that contest in 1963, 12-6. And then the last Timber Bowl of the not-so-modern era, we'll say, was 1967, and, and beat four and Clara played to a 14-14 tie. So, you know, Timber Bowl's got some history itself. Well, and you could consider the modern era when they got lights on the field. <laughs> got the cows that on. That would have been the first modern era. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the, this is a revival of, of something. And it used to, used to be played, I think, at the end of the seasons, too, yeah. which is a, a sort of reversal. But for the last three or four years, you know, we made that trip to the Red Carpet Bowl in Vicksburg. And... Um, there hadn't been too many trips we've come back with the weekend. <laughs> That's for sure. And, but, you know, well, last year I think we got started about, what, quarter to 12 and finished oh, up right at daylight. Terrible. Terrible. And uh, the field was horrible over there last year. I mean, <laughs> it had all that rain. Uh, but, you know, and it was played back and forth between it, at Warren Central and then at Vicksburg in those fields. But we're here now on our own field. Yeah. And based on the crowd we saw tonight for that first ball game, uh, there's a good number of those folks still hanging around. Uh, I mean, yeah. our visitor side over there is a lot fuller than it was during the regular season last uh, year. Yeah, that's about as good a crowd as we've had on the visitor side right now uh, in, a, in a long, long time. Long, long time. Uh, I saw you down on the field going through some of your pregame uh, 
moves down there. I see you, you know, Bud Blackley's uh, has been our offensive coordinator here the last, what, three or four years, and now he's going back, uh, I want to say he's going home. Look to the dark side. But uh, did you have a chance to speak with him before the I, game? I did. Uh, I, I used to slip over there and spoke to Bud. I said, look, even though you're wearing the wrong color, you know, I still love you. <laughs> and I'm still going to wish you good luck. Oh. And, um, and he did the same. Bud's a great guy, and uh, we miss him here. But, you know, Jones County is home for him. Yeah. And uh, and certainly uh, not a surprise that he would take an opportunity to go home and, and coach over there. Well, I think you may mention the fact when, when uh, Wes Jones was in their really heyday, when they've had some of the best teams and most success that they've ever had. Matter of fact, they came over here and beat us when we were all everything in 03, the first time we played them. And uh, he was the offensive coordinator then. And, uh, you know, I think you made mention of that in one of your interviews or something you were talking about yeah. that. Now he's back over there. Of course, the only part of that puzzle that's missing is probably Wayne Graves, who was the defensive coordinator on that team. I hope he's missing. No, he's not missing. Oh, is he? No, he's going to help. <laughs> he, still, he took retirement, but he's still working with the, uh, with the football team some. And, uh, of course, Coach uh, Pearson, I mean, great guy. And they've got a great, great staff over there. And, uh, it's, 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 this is a good rivalry. This yeah. is a good one. I mean, I a lot know of respect both yeah. ways. And, uh, and it's one where you're, you're close enough that you can get ill one another, but you're far enough apart that you can cool <laughs> off before you get a chance to say something you shouldn't. <laughs> Our captains tonight are Clinton Bivens, uh, C.J. Chambers, uh, Trey Williamson, and Darius Royal are our captains for tonight. And that's out there at uh, Field. Patrick Rivette is representing the... Uh, the name the sponsor, timber, yeah, yeah. The Wayne, what is this? this is the uh, Raymond Rivet Timber LLC, Wayne County Timber Bowl. They're our name sponsor, and he's down there getting a special award tonight. And I think he's going to help him in the tossing of the coin. And I tell you what, Patrick gets that coin up in there. He's, if the, Patrick can get his hands on that coin, <laughs> they will not see it again. <laughs> Oh, we're fixing to see how this toss plays out. The Mustangs are gathered up down there in their end zone, getting ready behind the sign and the cheerleaders. And the War Eagles, uh, well, the War Eagles haven't even made their way out of the field house yet. But uh, we'll kind of see what's going on. You know, I was talking to uh, Keith Stanley was up here earlier in the night with the Wayne Academy crew, and he was running the clock down here, and we were talking about some things, you know, about the, the time this game's starting late, and I said, you know, but as they say, we kind of used to this. Wes Jones probably said, what have we gotten ourselves into? We're kicking this thing off. What time is it? It's uh, 9.32, and we hadn't kicked yet. They should have been in, been in Vicksburg last year. Got a couple of guys want to holler at it. Let's see what happens with the toss right here, Kenny. Wayne County won it and deferred, so uh, they'll be kicking off. Uh, a couple of shout-outs. I was uh, Dave Gully is a big, big War Eagle fan, and he's unable to be here tonight, so we want to give a shout-out to him and let him know how much we appreciate what he does and you know in the communities and, and, and with his service and also uh, being a War Eagle fan that he is. And I was, got a call from an old friend Aaron Williams today, the king of the hill down there, uh, coming into Waynesboro on 45, and... Uh, He's listening to the game tonight and wanted to say hello to everybody. Has he got any hubcaps? Because I'm short for him right now. If anybody out there has got a 2015 Nissan that you got an extra hubcap, I could use it. Yeah, you ran over something today, didn't you? Oh, I did. Whatever it was. It was in Jones I... County, too, wasn't it? Yeah. That was laying a trap for you over there, I believe, it, I believe it was those pesky Mustangs <laughs> as you referred to. And here come the War Eagles. And, uh, hey, let me send out a hello tonight, too, to Uncle Gene Barnett and a uh, long-time listener. And Uncle yeah. Gene's on the weather. And we just want to tell him how much we appreciate him listening. And Uncle Gene, howdy. And tell Miss Montepole that it's okay to make an extra <laughs> pan of that cracked <laughs> cornbread so I can come visit. Uh, some of the people will be seeing offensively in the rotation tonight. Dalton Cochran, an offensive lineman. Uh, Austin Hudson, Hunter Field, y'all. Tim Loper, Cole Turner. Landon Williams is a sophomore. He may make his way in here some, too. Devin White. Justice Singleton, we had him listed on the, uh, on the program as a tight end, and they've moved him to uh, guard. I think he's going to start at guard tonight. And... Uh, He's a 6'1", 216-pound senior, so they've already shuffled some things up. Well, they did. They've had uh, some things that have caught them sort of flat-footed with the offensive line early, and uh, they're making some adjustments uh, early in the year. Okay, here we go. And uh, Heath Mosley's getting set to uh, kick this thing away, and I tell you what, he's. Uh, I saw him at, Dick, at uh, Biloxi last week. He kicked off three times, got two of them in the end zone, and uh, kid's got a 
got a lot of potential. He's kicked some mighty long field goals for us. And having somebody kick it in the end zone is not something that luxury that we have very often. He's going to go. The ball fell off the tee. And so that was a much to do about nothing. Strike one. I believe one of those Mustangs snorted. <laughs> those man, Mustangs, I'm telling you, you, can't, you gotta watch them. They will, man, they're allowed to do anything down there. I was watching him during warm-ups <laughs> and he, he took that uh, that uh, ball holder and took a field goal set of steps, not a running kickoff set. He kicked it from the 40 through the uprights with about six yards to spare. There's a deep kick right there. It's going to be high. It's going to be fielded down there. Uh, he's it, in he's the kept in the end zone, but they let him bring it out. Straight up the field. He comes across the 20. He could go all the way, Kenny. He's going to run this thing back. Moses got a chance at him. And, uh, you know, this thing's going to get – he's he going to – he didn't fall. He almost fell at the 10, but the Mustangs have run the kickoff back for a touchdown. And his foot was on the line. That is a 100-yard return. Mosley kicked it inside the three. And the kid from Wes Jones caught the ball with his foot backed up to the line, and he ran straight down the middle of the field, and nobody touched him. West Jones, six, Wayne County, nothing. How about them apples? Well, that's about a 99-yarder, and that's, uh, <laughs> if you want to get off to a good start, that's the way to do it. All righty. West Jones is on to try the uh, PAT. And i tell you what, that didn't take long. The Mustangs... Uh, I said, they said, we've waited long enough to play. We're ready to go. Split that coverage. I mean, he never got outside the hashes. He crossed right through the middle of the big yes, WC in the middle of the field all the way to the end zone. And he almost, like you said, he got stumbled like I would do uh, and started leaning. And, but he didn't fall down. So that extra point is good. So with 11.47 to go in the first quarter, it is 7 to nothing. A West Jones Mustangs. Let's take a quick 30-second break. 30-second break, and we'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Okay. All righty, we're back. And now Wes Jones is getting ready to kick it off, and we've got uh, Zabron Jackson standing back there to receive this thing, uh, along with Darius Royal and uh, number 12, Joshua Page. There are three men back there waiting to see. Uh, if they can return the favor here, this uh, 2017 season has started off with the bang for the Mustangs. Come over here in the Timber Bowl and run the opening kickoff back for a touchdown. And they're not in any hurry. They're getting that thing set down there. They'll be kicking it away in a minute. The ball's teed up. The Mustangs are gathered around. They're fixing to break their <coughs> huddle formation and kick this thing away right now in just a minute. It's like the officials are... Holding them back and having some discussion. Well, I have to get uh, get Kirk some oxygen, I think, after that long run. 11.47 to go. Uh, I just don't have a number for that. Uh, I was looking for him, too, on that roster. And they, I, Wish I Jones sent see. me that roster. And they left a kicker off. That bird, he's just sneaky. Boy, I tell you me? what. I guess he's probably the special team coach. Here's the kick, and it's going to be kicked down here, and it's going to be fielded by... Except well, they blew it dead. Well, Demetrius Howard, number seven, caught the ball down there at about the 25 or so, and uh, like I said, they blew it dead, Kenny. And I'll tell you what, we're having a hard time getting our hands on the ball here. We were able to kick it away, and I don't know what the problem is, but they try, they're going to set it up here and try it again. There's no flag, so I don't know. Uh, it may have been that the uh, official says that he didn't blow the, the whistle to be set. We, blew, we heard it that time, and here he goes, and he's going to put a foot in it. It's going to get down there, and uh, it's going to be caught, and we got a, another stoppage of play, a flag got this a time. flag, so they were offside this time. <laughs> well, this is, uh, I've seen a, a lot of strange things to start football games, but this is an inauspicious start. Yes, it is. You know, they so tried to end up there. This is the third time try to kick it off. I guess they're scared. We're going to run one back. They don't want to kick it. Well, it gives us a <coughs> chance for a little better field position. Yeah, he's kicked that thing down there at about the 20-yard line. Both times he's gotten the foot into it. So if that's the case, he ought to kick it to about the 25. So our, our, our three ret deep return men are standing at the 20. We've got three more standing up here about the 40, and the rest of them are all lined up out there at the, about the 
Well, they lined up in uh, Mustang territory about the 48 yard line. Here comes the kick, and it's going to go down there. It's going to be fielded about the 25 yard line on the far side of the field. And here comes the Warriors trying to get on the corner, and that's rolled. He's at the 50 yard line. He's got some blockers, and I don't know. They're going to track him down at about the 32 yard line of the Mustangs, and that's uh, number two, one of our captains tonight, the senior 5'10, 170 pounder. There is Royal. So here come the War Eagles. We'll see, you know, all the things we've read preseason in the publications out of town, like the Clarion Ledger and stuff, talking about Brian Jackson being a quarterback this year. He has been a quarterback last year, but it uh, looks like we're going to be starting a sophomore tonight. Uh, they had a big outing last week in uh, Shakir Wesley, a 5'11, 192 uh, pound sophomore and uh, Trey Williamson is in the backfield with them. We got uh, three backs back there right now. Two wide outs both ways. The Warriors are moving right to left and Jackson's in motion splits out. There's a handoff up the middle and they're going to know it's a fake and the pitch out there to Page and here he goes touchdown. It's Wayne cool. County 10 5. Bingo! Right there. They faked a dive play and uh, Fat pulled it out and that's what they called him. Uh, Pat. I don't know where that comes from, but anyway, made that nice pitch on the corner. There's a touchdown, Wayne County. We having fun yet, Kenny? I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I want to say slow down, but they did slow down between the, that kickoff that took 13 seconds to do. Brody Abad on the snap. Uh, Heath Mosley to kick this PAT and Bryce Mason on the hole. There's the kick, and it's up, and it's going to be very good. No good. No good, so we missed the extra point. So with 11.29 to go in the first quarter, we've got a 7-6 ball game led by the Mustangs of West Jones. And we've played 31 seconds in the first <laughs> quarter. That was Joshua Page uh, that took the pitch. Joshua plays defensive back, plays quarterback. We've got some real versatile athletes on this team, Kenny. You're going to see a bunch of these guys playing interchangeably tonight on both sides of the ball. Joshua is a, uh, he's a senior. He's played some quarterback for us in the past. And Mosley's got the ball teed up here on the 40-yard line, getting ready to kick it again. And let's see, uh, let's see if he goes deep with it again, or maybe squibs one. I got a feeling this won't go that deep. <laughs> All right, Moses got his, got his crew set out here. He's approaching the ball, and he's fixing to put a foot into it. Boom, and he's got this one deep, and it's going into the end zone in the air. It's uh, probably seven yards deep into the end zone. Kenny, what a kick. I'll tell you what, he, he did a lot of work over the summer, went to a lot of clinics, Marshall, and uh, did a lot of work. And, and I tell you, he's, uh, he's really, really improved. Coach Mangum talked about him in the, uh, the coaches call on the radio show this week. All righty. What you need, Kenny? Slide that roster over this way. There you go, buddy. Mine got wrinkled up. There you go. And I'm you having want. trouble anyway. You can keep that over there, and I'll get it from you in a little bit. Well, I'll just – I'll share. All righty. We got a three-man front up there in the War Eagles defense. We got Page and Jackson, uh, our defensive – our safeties. So, let's see. Here's the Mustangs with a single back, back, back set to both ways, and uh, they're going to – Makes a handoff over there. Rod Watkins, number 15, is going to break through there and tackle him for a loss. Well, a good play uh, off the corner over there and just a good job to uh, to move across the line of scrimmage and make that tackle. I see C.J. Chambers, Riley Revon, 30, 46 out there, at linebacker. Uh, <clears throat> I'll try to get some more. Quentin Bivens is up front. There's a Mustangs back to throw. There's some pressure. He's going to throw one out here to the 20. He's going to make the catch behind the 20, and the Warriors are going to gobble him up back there. He's going to get maybe a yard or two out of him. He's going to get back just to the chains there, k Dog. Yeah, just he's throwing an out route, and uh, it just didn't uh, didn't even have anywhere to go. We picked up a couple of yards with Marshall. It's third and 10. Braxton Lee, Jeremy <coughs> Sibley, and Quentin Bivens are the three-man front right there. There's a senior, senior and two juniors, and they stay with that. <coughs> third and 10 at the 20-yard line. Mustangs are moving to the left and looking to throw the ball. He's going to throw one out there. It's going to be caught at the 25. He's going to get a first down out across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. So first down for the Mustangs for 10-23 to go, and the Mustangs lead 7-6. to six. The Mustangs run the opening kickoff back. The Warriors ran the kickoff back in Mustang territory in the first play from scrimmage. They faked the dive and made the pitch, and uh, Joshua Page took the pitch from uh, Williamson and uh, into the, excuse me, not Williamson, Wesley, and into the end zone he goes. 
Here we go, first and ten for the Mustang. There's a handoff up the middle, and he's going to be met with a lot of resistance. It might get a yard that defensive front planted a wall out there, Kenny. Did a good job of just jamming things up on the corner. Defensive end crashed down, jammed up that tackle, and they had uh, a guard trying to step out and around. They got his feet tangled, so just uh, picked up a yard. That defensive front, uh, Bivens 6'3", 284, Braxton Lee 5'8", 255, Sibley uh, 258. There's a handoff up the middle, and I tell you what, he breaks through the initial line, wall of defense, so he ain't going to get a first down, but there's a flag on the play, Kenny. Let's see what that is. Got a hold here on the inside, I thought. <laughs> that was they uh, call a chop block. Might have been just enough to spring him. k Dog is usually money on these things. <clears throat> it's a hold. I thought so. That You see that arm go out like that on the offensive lineman, that's usually a indication there's a hold. I tell you what, Kenny, I'm so excited to be be up here doing this again, have the opportunity to <clears throat> try to call these games and get all up in your hair and uh ain't that much to get up in anymore. <laughs> but I tell you what, if it gets real quiet here after a few minutes, we've dozed off because it's way past our bedtime already. Second and twenty from the twenty five, the Mustangs find themselves in. Back to throw, got some time, there's a pass across the middle. It's going to be high and incomplete and I tell you what, Trey Williamson back there in coverage along with Brian Jackson and Rod Watkins. Those three more Eagle defenders out there. And I think what we what we think coming into this part of the season, these defensive backs that Wayne County have may be the most athletic bunch that they've had back there as a unit in a quiet sometime. Yeah, they're athletic. They're just a little short on experience and that's something you get by getting burned. So yeah, uh, hopefully we won't have to see a lot of that but uh, these guys play hard and they're, they're, as you said, they're very athletic. Third 20 to the right for the Mustang single back set. He's back to throw. There's a toss across the middle. It goes high, and uh, number 12 Page butts him down out there. And they're going to probably call him for a little unnecessary uh, personal foul. Well, they called one of that first ball game that I thought was kind of iffy. Uh, this one, uh, I don't, you know, I guess they think he led with his head okay, but. We don't have any reviews, so that's going to be a uh, personal foul, 15 yards, and uh, it'll be a uh, automatic first down, should be. Yeah, that's the call. Now, he had thrown that ball. They went to 25 with a 25 or so to go. He had thrown the ball inside the chains. Had he caught it and tackled it, it would been about third and uh, been fourth and about seven or eight, but that's a neat point now, the personal foul. That must be a... Well, if it's, uh, unless it's a, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they, they should get an automatic first down. They're going to move the ball out to the out to the 40. They're That's showing the third goal. on the on this down marker, Kenny, with a third and one now. I, I'm like you. If I, the ball spotted, if the ball spotted on the 40, they're going to be about three yards short. They got the down marker on the 42. Before they, get, you, they give them the first down now. Here we go. You're right. They just, the chain gang's dragging behind over there. So first and 10 for the Mustangs at the 44. They're on 44 with 9.41 to go in the first quarter. Warriors uh, trail seven to six. Mustangs ran the opening kickoff back and then the Warriors answered with a one play drive after a nice kickoff return, but they missed the PAT. Here comes the Mustangs. Got him a wing back on the right side, receiver split both ways, wing backs in motion to the left side, single back set there as a snap, and the handoff up the middle, and oh my goodness, they're going to gobble him up, and that was Quentin Nivens with a tackle for a loss right there. Oh, Quentin got back there in a hurry. Kind of reminds you a little bit of Benito. We used to see that with Quentin, Benito. Of course, yeah. the other thing that we also used to see was <laughs> offside. Yeah. Quentin's a big old boy. He's taller than Benito. He's a, he's a probably a 285, 290 pounder himself. It's a loss of two yards. It should put it back around the 40, 41. We get pressure. Oh, there's pressure, and I'll tell you what, they were saying, that was just gobbled up. Let's see, who was that uh, bringing the heat back there that got there a little quicker than they imagined? Let's get that number on that on that guy I'm trying to see. That's a number, 97, Lee Van Davis, the senior uh it looks like, like, lineman, like they were trying to set up a uh, an outside screen, but uh, they just wasn't having anything to do with that. No, he he uh, he went back there faster than he was supposed to. I think they told him. Bring his third, third and twelve. <coughs> third and twelve. All right, there's a snap. Quarterback's moving to his uh, right flag. <coughs> be a 
got uh, I think an illegal procedure motion over there. Up here in the uh, press yeah. box tonight, we've got a special uh, visitor up here. He's uh, observing. He's worked real hard for the last few months putting this thing together. He's uh, Sean Dunlap. Everybody knows Sean. He's the one to blame for us. He's the one to blame for us. Yeah, tonight. it's all Sean's fault. But anyway, uh, <laughs> he was busy with the... Uh, calling the academy game and now he's up here got himself a funnel cake and he's ready to go so uh that's all right sean we don't want any that's okay <laughs> kids started down a long way to go out right there third and 17 from the 37 their own 37 8 47 to go in the first uh wayne county trail seven to six and let's see what the mustangs do they're going to try to throw it there's one across the picked off, almost picked off cj chambers got his hands on it and uh, malik briggs got a shot at it but that's going to force a punting situation i tell you what they were going for it kenny well defended. Well, well defended. They were in a good job. Good had a little, little bit of pressure, not not a lot, but just enough to make him get rid of the ball a little quicker than he wanted to. Uh, good job in coverage, and uh, we just need a taller outside linebacker. <laughs> Zubarin Jackson's back on the 25, and I tell you what, I watched some highlight videos uh, today, and I've forgotten just how this kid can really go. Uh, he can go. So let's see if we can get a punt field and then get some electricity going down there. He's put on a little weight too. Let's see. Here comes your snap. It's a good one. There's a punt. It's going to come downfield, and Jackson's going to go over there and scoop it up to 25 up the sideline. It comes. Kenny cuts back inside, breaking a tackle or two, crosses the 40 out to about the 42-yard line. So the, the War Eagles will be in business somewhere around their own 42 with 8.32 to go in the first, trading 7-6. to six. Looks like the punt was a, uh, 33 yards or so. Again, some of the folks, Dalton Cochran, Austin Hudson, Hunter Field, y'all, Tim Loper, Cole Turner, you'll see these guys tonight, Justice Singleton, uh, W.C. Washington, Trey Williams, Zabrian Jackson, and then uh, Wesley. Security and Wesley will be your quarterback again, and here they come. Washington's going to be in the backfield with him. He's got uh, trips to the left, single man out right. There's no tight end in the formation right now. Mason's in motion. There's the handoff and a fake up the middle and makes a pass out here to the to Page, Page and he's breaking tackles and fighting to about the 50-yard line. They fake the dive play and then Wesley came out to uh, lead the defensive end and he decided to pitch it out there to Page and that's that's kind of what I saw happening, Kenny, and it worked pretty good. Yeah, that was the uh, what arc. RPM? Yeah, whatever that They're is. Past the RPM. The B -R -B -R -C or whatever. <laughs> Everything's got a, a, a number of yeah. nomenclature now. And I'll tell you, it says a lot, and you got a sophomore starting at quarterback that's telling you that the youngster's doing a doing a pretty good job and got a fair grasp on your offense. They got seven yards out of it. I watched him play at Biloxi in the scrimmage last week, and he had uh, he had 157 yards of rushing on seven carries, which is pretty salty. Well, it looks like we did get that personal foul. Wayne County is uh, trailing with 8.23 to go in the first, 7-3. to three. They've uh, kicked off, and West Jones ran the opening kickoff back for a touchdown. Wayne County had a nice kickoff return, one play in the end zone. They've run a couple of plays now, and here they are inside the uh, 34 of the Mustangs with a first and 10. Wesley's up at the line of scrimmage. He's got three backs back there with him right now, and there's a man in motion going out to the right, and there's a dive up the middle and the handoff, and here we go, breaking tackles and running hard as Washington, just dragging folks with him down to the 25-yard line for going to be about a yard or two short for the first down. And i tell you what, Washington has bowed his time. He's worked hard. He's a senior this year, and he's getting his chance. Well, he is, and i tell you what, the youngster showed you that he, he really wants to be a, another Chris Cooley. Yeah, he's a strong kid. He's weighs about 180 pounds. Uh, we got Williamson back. He's a defensive back, shut down corner. Now he's in the backfield right now. We got the three backs, and there comes West Jones off sides. That's going to give Wayne County a first and 10 inside the 25. Seven fifty to go in the first quarter. Wayne County trails seven to six, but the War Eagles have got to serve themselves a first down. Uh, down about the 21-yard line of the Mustangs. They got the three backs set, one receiver uh, both ways. They got two backs standing side by side with the quarterback and one behind him. That's Williamson deep, the deep back. Mason goes in motion to the right side. Here's going to come. West is going to keep it and break a tackle and uh, not much be, right. Yeah, he's going to be gathered up at the you know about the line of scrimmage. He, well, and, and look, that's a sophomore. He's he's got to learn how to read that thing, and that's how you learn to read it is. Uh, 
you you you, you keep it, it when you ought to turn it loose. <laughs> yeah. So he uh, he didn't pick up much, maybe six inches. So we'll put him with no gain in second, ten from twenty one. Like uh, well, it looks like we're going to be looking at an empty backfield right here. We got trips to the right. We got uh, Royal and. Uh, Williamson and Mason to the right. We better hurry. We got no um, no 25 second clocks. They're not working tonight. No, they they quit working during the. Uh, okay, now they're they're blowing it live. Now they're working. Howard's okay. uh, Howard's to the left. I said Page is to the left. So three to the right, two to the left. Here comes a man in motion. It's Williamson in motion. Fat takes a snap. He's straight back to throw. Going to move to his right. I tell you what, he's, he's got a lot of green. He's going to take. To go. He's going to fire it downfield and he's going to be thrown down inside the five, trying to get it to. Uh, got a pin flag. Him. May have a defensive hold. He moved to the right and uh, fired a bullet down there inside the five, trying to get to Williamson, but it was incomplete. But like Kenny said, there's a flag on the play. I think it's a defensive hold. I tell you what, he had a lot of heat on that ball. That ball was zipping in there. I kind of thought he might pull it down and run it, but he decided to throw it. And uh, Got a defensive hole, Marshall. I right, so Kenny, you're on the spot. You always are, and that's going to give the War Eagles a first down. Washington and Jackson check in. Williamson and uh, Mason check out. There's uh, Hudson and Cochran on the left side with that offensive line, 57 Phil y'all. I believe that's Phil y'all at center. All right, well, they're back to that uh, Washington's deep man. They got the three backs back there with them, Page, Washington, and uh, there's a handoff up the middle, and he's going to break a tackle or two. And uh, I don't know Washington. how we got. I don't know how we got away with that. We had two guys in motion at the same well, time. There is a flag on the play, so we didn't get away with it. I didn't. I didn't see the flag. And but it's I, covered up on the twenty down there. So you call it, Kenny. We can't argue with that. You saw it too. Well, if I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington Lord. had a nice run, got down there inside the 10, but that's negated. So uh, that backs him up here to the 15. We got a first and 10 from around the 15. Got four receivers out here to the left side, Kenny, and one to the right. We got a timeout. So with 6.26 to go in the first quarter, Wayne County trail 7 to 6, but our threatening and I uh, we're gonna stay with it because pull the trigger a little quick on yeah, that boss. Yeah, yeah. I heard a PA man say that it was a uh, timeout on the field, but I guess uh, we both missed that now one. Now you so. know better than to listen no, to No, come on now. Come on. Four receivers to the left, one on the right. Fat's gonna move to the left, turn up field and then gonna reverse his field and here he goes. He's gonna see if he can get on the corner. He's at the ten and fights down to about the seven or eight yard line. So uh covered a lot of ground to gain a little. But he, I tell you what, it was a nice gain. He got about seven or eight yards, didn't he? Yeah, I mean it it didn't look like he had much room at all and he managed to turn up field. And I think they got him got him spotted around the around the eight yard line. I was trying to see. Yeah, it looks like the eight. Second down. The eight, and they can get to the one and get a first down. 5:49 and counting in the first quarter. And the Warriors are threatening. Here's your snap. There's a pass out there, and it's going to be dropped at the ten. A little quick pass out there. I'd like to give a shout out to Freddie uh, Miller, our, one of our super, our super fan of the week. <coughs> Freddie is uh, our super fans help us with our broadcast, and Freddie uh, has got himself a, a, a parking pass and a couple of tickets to the game tonight. And uh, is his oh, he's ship. holding court down there close to the <laughs> concession stand. <laughs> while he, he had him gathered up like a pitcher at revival. <laughs> Freddie will do it now. He's a he's a big War Eagle faithful supporter and uh, one of our super fans. And fast moving to his left, going to look downfield and going to. Make a tackle and make a forward pitch down there. It's going to be a touchdown. Uh, he did kind of like a shovel pass out there on the corner, Kenny, to Trey Williamson, and uh, there's a touchdown, Wayne County. Man, I tell you what, I don't know what to make out of that. You know, he uh, was running. He was out on the corner. He didn't cross the line of scrimmage, obviously. And he just threw a shovel. It was an underhanded shovel pass, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was just sort of a – he just pushed it forward. Now, we got a penalty of some kind, so maybe that gets wiped off the board. I missed whatever it was. War Eagles offense is okay. An eligible receiver downfield. Well, okay, scratch that. Knocking on the door and beating around down there. Now it's third down. We're outside the chains. We're back out about the 13 yard line. Got to get to the one for our first down. 
We'll say third and 12 with 5.30 to go, trailing 7 to 6, but uh, inside the red zone with a third down is uh, Mr. Wesley and company. Single back set with him. Wesley's going to take the snap. He's going to head it straight up. No, he's going to. He's got a guy open. Yeah, he's being chased all the way back to the 34-yard line, and there's a flag. I don't know whether they got his face mask or what. Hopefully they did, but Kenny was uh, – this looked like he was just a little unsure which way to go then. He, he he was moving to his left and wanting to throw it downfield, and they corralled him up, and he started retreating, and they got him. They got his face mask. Face Kenny. mask. Wayne County dodged a bullet on that. That may be an automatic first down. The whole thing is it's a spot foul. i tell you one thing. It's hard to, it's hard to track Wesley. and He's coming off the field. He's looking like he's uh, shaking up a little bit. All right, that puts the ball on the 13, back where it was. And if it's an automatic first down, or is it third down and third, still third down and 12? Wesley is out of the game. They drug him down back there, and he's uh, it's like he's rubbing his shoulder a little bit. It's Ryan Jackson is in the quarterback, and he certainly understands the role right here, and he can go, and he's going to move to his left and going to turn up field and going to put his head down and gain maybe a yard, going to bring up fourth down. He's on the left hash mark. Let's we'll see what they're doing with Wesley down there. I don't know. Uh, we're going to have a field goal attempt right here. It's going to be a 27-yarder. 20, they better to snap. Mosley to kick out of Bryce, Mason, Bryce Mason's hold. 27-yard attempt right here, and we got a Timeout. Wayne County takes a timeout. So we're 4.51 to go in the first. Wayne County trails 6-7. to seven. We're going to take a break back to the station, and we'll be back after this 60-second break to the station. All righty. We're back, uh, and we got the field goal unit lined up out of here for this 27-yard attempt. Mosley's uh, Bryce uh, Mason going to spot it down there just, uh, just inside the hash mark. Mosley certainly kicked him this range and longer before. Of course, he had a little trouble on that last extra point, so nothing's a given. There's a bad snap. They get it under control. Mosley gets a kick up, and it looks like he's going to be, be good. good. So with 4.48 to go in the first quarter, Wayne County 9, West Jones 7. Now we'll take a 30-second break to the station. 30 seconds, and we'll be right back. All right, we are. Wayne County's uh, taking the lead on the Mosley field goal. 9-7, 4.48 to go <clears throat> in a, an exciting first quarter. Looks like uh, a lot of action so far. A couple of touchdowns in the field goal, and Moses getting out there getting set to kick it off again. It'll be the third time he's kicked it off here in the first quarter. And yeah, one of them didn't work out so good. One of them didn't work out so good. You're right. Moses kicked the last one about seven yards deep in the end zone. Let's see <clears throat> and do that again. Here he comes to the football, and he puts a foot in it, and it's not going to quite make it this time. It's going to hit the ground and be caught at the five-yard line. Mustangs running straight up the field with it, and here they go again. But nope, nope, nope. Wayne County is going to get a hold of him out about the 30-yard line, drag him down at maybe the 31, 32-yard line. Yeah, somebody threw a net on him around the 28, <laughs> and he got his feet tangled. <laughs> Tell you what, that's about the only way you can slow that youngster down. He can go, man. Down. He can go. All righty, there's uh, Braxton Lee out there, Quentin Bivens, Jeremy Sibley, 284, 255, 258 up front for the War Eagles. There's Chambers and uh, Riley Ravon, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, linebacker, <coughs> along with uh, Jeremy Reed, number 44. And here come the Mustangs, and there's going to be a handoff up the middle. He's going to move around to try to get out on the uh, right side, and Wayne County's going to string it out and track him down. And Ravon and uh, Reed on the stop there for the War Eagles. Going to wash off. I don't think he got much at all. In fact, if, uh, well, they gave him a yard. Yeah, he didn't get much. 4.22 to go in the first quarter. Wayne County leads 9-7. to seven. <coughs> Touchdown, missed extra point, and the field goal against a touchdown and an extra point by the Mustangs. Three-man front for the War Eagles. Two safeties back deep for Wayne County overlooking things. Got two receivers. Split 
wide both ways and the wing back on the left side. There's going to be a handoff up the middle and the runner's going to stumble and get his feet under him and they're going to fight hard. Running hard, Kenny, going to get a nice gain out to about the 37-yard line. Oh, we missed him in the backfield. Just didn't lock up. That's Austin Land. He's a senior running back for the Mustangs. Third and about, about five to go. No, six. Yeah, he picked up four, so that'll be, uh, be third and about, about five. All right, and here we got some uh, officials I'm moving sure. up there. What we got? Heat timeout. We're gonna take a yeah. We'll take a 30 second break back to WABO to hear from some of our sponsors and be back after this commercial. We're back. <coughs> Third and five uh, for the Mustangs. 3:33 to go in the first. Big third down right here. You hate to say it, but it already is. It's big third down, Kenny. Yeah, big play here uh, late in the first quarter, and Wayne County sure needs to stop here. And the Mustangs have fumbled a snap, but he pick it up, and he's going to run around the left side, and boy, he's going to be buried at the 30 by Rod Watkins. I mean, Rod lit him up. He put that helmet between his numbers and planted him back at the 30. So, tell you what, when he angled toward the quarterback took that angle of leaning backwards, that's when he laid the wood to him. I man. mean, he did. Uh, so All that's right. going to bring up fourth down, Marshall, in about 11. They're on their own, uh, yeah, back there about their own 31-yard line. Jackson's back to receive the punt. He's standing in his own territory about the 37. This is Brian Jackson. We're going to see if uh, Wesley makes his way back in here in a minute. There's a high, high punt. It's not going to go very far. He's going to be, uh, everybody's going to get away from it. And the Mustangs are going to watch it roll, and it's going to take a warrior roll to the 40. So, Wayne County's in business with the ball at their own 40, 246 to go and a two-point lead. Uh, a 29-yard punt. That's typically a little uncharacteristic of the Mustangs. They usually have a, a, a good uh, good set of kickers. They do. And uh, Stay with me. You know, it goes off. No, I'm, I'm getting late. I'm past my bedtime. I want you to look what a cricket there on the window, Kenny. Is that a dandy? I don't know. Is that a mole cricket? <laughs> <laughs> if he is, that's, a Katie, that's a Katie did. If he's going to get, uh, he, he's going to go hungry down on that plastic turf, I can tell you that. All righty. Wesley's back in at quarterback. Jackson and Washington are in the backfield with him along with Page. Two receivers both ways. Four. Wesley, he's going to take the snap and he's going to and the ball straight up the middle, and that's a nice run out to the 45-yard line. Just an old quick dive, Marshall, yeah. and uh, that's, a, that's an old throwback play. Oh, Washington, the nice game, brings up second and five, 2.32 to go in the first, Wayne County up nine to seven. Um, same formation, <laughs> two receivers, one wide both ways, and then uh, the quarterback in the middle of two backs and one right behind him. And the Mustangs are going to come off sides, and uh, he's got a he's got a deal. The quarterback's got a deal where he makes that count, and when he gets ready for the ball, he puts his hand forward like a go, and uh, he gives them that hard count with that hand moves. They just can't stand it. That's a couple of times he's gotten them already in the first quarter. They, you, I saw that first in the uh, Count of Monte Cristo, the <laughs> remake, when uh, the old priest was teaching the the count how to. Uh, uh, going in and out of the water drip. You, you don't remember that? <laughs> nah, I'll stick with this first and 10 at the 50-yard line. The Warriors got with 2.15 to go in the first and a two-point lead, 9-7. to seven. It, was also, uh, it was also on uh, Kung Fu, if you remember. Uh, now, I do remember that. Yeah. Now, I do remember that. And you've already said grasshoppers. Uh, hey, grasshoppers, there we go. We're all over it. Grasshoppers out there uh, ready to go. So here come the, here come the War Eagles. Well, he takes a step straight back to pass, looking downfield, going to fire one deep down there, trying to get his number seven. He's going to ball oh, through his hands down there to 20, trying to get it down there to uh, Demetrius Howard, senior. Well, it was, it was a good play. I mean, first and, and 10 from the 50, it was a good play to kind of stretch the field, you know, maybe go vertical on it and, uh, you know, good call. Uh, that just a little, little underthrown, but as a sophomore, you got to expect that that sort of thing to happen. But still, it was catchable. It was a close, very catchable football. Two minutes, and there's going to be a handoff uh, up the middle, and that's going to be uh, I guess it's going to be Washington again. We'll have a look and see. <coughs> nice game. I think it was. Yeah. Now the other thing is we're, we're putting the back in motion. That back start is angling toward the line of scrimmage, and if we're not careful. 
stay parallel, we could get in trouble with that. That was Trey on the carry. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. And we got a third down and about seven yards to go. We're inside Mustang territory. Still got a good crowd here tonight. 127 to go in the first and counting. War goes up nine to seven. Trips right, empty backfield. Well, is straight back to throw. Going to fire a bullet out there, and it's going to be. It comes off. Of, it comes off of. Uh, hits. It hits Page right in the bread basket. Hit him right in the middle, and uh, he it bounced off his belly. And the, the Mustangs pick it off. A 111 to go in the first. So that's a a big turnover right there. The Mustangs were very op opportunistic right there and kept their concentration on the play and took it away from the Warriors. First turnover of the ball game, and it's going to uh, put them in Wayne County territory. Marshall around the 37. Got something. I thought he said delay a game or something against Wayne County. It might have been the snap and the, uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't delay a game. I guess that's what it was. Somebody must have kicked the football or something. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Here come the Mustangs. They're at the 37-yard 30, uh, line of uh, the War Eagles. 111 to go in the first quarter in the Mustangs trail. Wayne County, 7-9. Be their best field position of the night. Three-man front for the War Eagles. Looks like the uh, War Eagles might have... Bibbins just blew through there and just... I thought he was offside, but he timed it perfectly and tackled them for a loss. I believe he got another tackle for a loss. That's two tackles for losses he's got here in the first quarter. Yeah, he, uh, he's on his game tonight. Now, it's a warm night. It's the first ball game of the season. You talk about last week being sort of a rehearsal, but I tell you what, I hope he, <laughs> hope he can last. All righty. Second and 11. We're inside a minute in the first quarter. There's a, looks like Mustangs may have moved a little bit. That's going to cost them some more yardage right there. Stops the clock with the 41. 41. Uh, Seconds in the first, Wayne County nine. West Jones seven. If they'll keep this up, we'll be back at midfield with a fourth down in a minute. That'll make me feel better. Trips left, single man right, single back set with a the quarterback. There's your snap, and he's uh, going to throw one out there in the flat. Got some room out there, but the Warriors are going to blister him out there. Watkins again. I mean, I can't tell you, he is bringing the heat. I mean, that is two that he has turned inside out out there so far in the first quarter. <laughs> that kid came to play, Kenny. He, uh, he did. He Woo! good, solid, good football. Man. Now they, they picked up four yards, but that still leaves a third and 12 from the 39 of Wayne County. That's 180 pounds. He's bringing all of it, and the first quarter has now come to a close. We're going to take a 60-minute break back to the station and be back after these words from our sponsor. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Okay. We are back uh, to start the second quarter. Mustangs looking at a third and 12. Inside at, the, at about the 39-yard line of the War Eagles, and they're, they're back to pass and uh, moving to his right hand. Under pressure and going to be drilled back there. That's Bivens and Sibley uh, sacked the quarterback at about the 46-yard line, 47. So looked like an you, Oreo sandwich. I tell you what, that defense looks pretty good, Kenny. They did. Uh, looked like a blue Oreo there. <laughs> <with a> white <laughs> filling. West Jones in their white uniforms tonight, and uh, outside of that Oreo was navy blue. <laughs> 11:34 and counting to go in the in the in the second quarter. Wayne County up. West Jones in the fourth and 22. They're going to be punting the football away. And let's see, there's a clean snap and the best punt of the night. It backs Jackson up inside the 10. He makes the catch at the 10, makes one miss and going to get slowing down out of bounds at about the 15 or 16 yard line. Very rudely, but uh, no flags, so Wayne County's going to have the ball at their own 15-yard line with the first and 10, 11-13 to go in the second with a 9-7 lead there, K-Dog. Well, about a 37-38 yard punt, Marshall. That was by far his best punt of the night, so he's found his range on that one. Nice spiral, time turned over a little bit. And let's see if uh, War Eagles can get some offense going. I tell you what, uh, 
seeing this. Just we didn't see this. I didn't see this formation last week in Biloxi. Though, where they got the three backs back there with him. Interesting formation. Sort of reverse pistol, isn't it? Man, don't give me the line. I don't know what it is. I just hope it works. It, <laughs> it actually reminds me of that old blasted Notre Dame box. Oh, yeah. you got to be ancient to remember that. Uh, I, I, remember, I remember it, too. that thing. And there's a handoff up the middle, and that's going to be, uh, I don't know if that's Washington. Washington, I think. He's going to get a couple, maybe one or two out of that one with 11.06 to go in the first I may give half. Him a, may give him a yard. All righty. Williamson is your back is in the backfield number one. That's Trey. Two receivers both ways for Wesley. No tight end. And uh, ten forty two, and counting. Here come the War Eagles. Wesley's looking it over. Got his man in motion. That's Mason in motion. There's the snap. There's going to be a fake to hand off. And thirty six is offside over. He got into the. In the neutral zone, trying to get an early start. Should be offside against West. All righty. That Kenny boy, you don't. You got to get up pretty early in the morning to get one by you, don't you, Kenny? Not as early as you used to. <laughs> Unless you're a shiny silver object laying in the middle of Highway 84. Oh, no, that's I 59. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. It, you know, it didn't hurt the tire of the rim, but in one place. Stuff like that wouldn't happen on 84. Okay, here we go. 1032 in counting. Oh, he was looking at about a second and five or so. There's going to be the back to throw, and he's going to dodge one. He might get some room around the left side, but he's going to throw it instead. And Page at the 40, out at the 50, down to the 45-yard line. And Kenny says that and coming back. Yeah, I believe that one to come back. You know, the sophomore showed a lot of presence in. He 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 got out there and met some resistance. He reversed his field, and instead of you – know, he had some room to run it. He did. But now he – Found the opening and hit Page downfield. Nice completion and run, but to no avail. It's coming back. 10-18 to go in the yeah, second. Yeah, based on the spot of that foul, if if that's where they call it, it's going to put us back around the six-yard line. All righty. No, he has, now he's moved it up to the 20. Okay, so it'll put us about the 10. 10 again. All righty. This will be second down. And Kenny, man, you are on it. Right in the center of the field. War Eagles are moving left to right. Now I'm going to move it over here to the hash mark on the, the right side of the War Eagles offensive field. So it should give us a second, 15. Balls at the 10. Got plenty of green to work with down there, Kenny. Let's see what we can do with it. Williamson is yeah, in the backfield. It's, back it's all in front of us. <laughs> we, we need a little more behind us there. Two receivers both ways. Jackson's in motion. There's going to be the handoff up the middle. That's the room with Trey Williams. Works his way to the 20. He's on the sideline. Here he goes. Turning speed out to the 36-yard 30, line. First and 10, Wayne County. That will help his per yard, per carry. Yes, sir. Average a little. And yeah. Marshall, that's huge because you, you go from the 10 out to around the 35 or 36-yard line, and that's that's a 26-yard gain for a War Eagle first down. That gets you out of a hole. You want more green behind you than you in front of you. <laughs> yeah. All right. They're looking at the 10 in the rear view mirror. Here they come. And uh, Trey, you know, Trey had seven or eight interceptions last year playing on the defensive side of the ball. Now he's, uh, you know, he's one of our leaders. He's one of the most versatile players we got. And he showed it right there on the offensive side with a nice run. All Did a good job. Good blocking inside. And he cut off the block very well. Right, there's another handoff straight up the middle of Washington. Breaking tackles. He's at the 50-yard line. Breaking more tackles. Dragging folks down to about the 35 or 36-yard line. Washington on the carry. Tell you what, that youngster uh, ran a play similar, just a, a gap further inside, Marshall, on what they did. The, in the prior play, we hit the outside gap. He hit one one gap down, and man, look, when he cut off that, that gap opening, he was he was gone. Uh, Wesley's feeding that dive play right now. In a minute, he's going to pull one and get on that corner. We're going to see something fun now. We're going to really hoop and holler here in a minute. Let's see what happens. Trips right for him, 9-16 to go in the first half. Here comes the uh, handoff up the middle. This will be dope. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's Trey again cutting and making his way inside the 30, and we got a penalty flag. Maybe a... Uh Maybe be a, a hold there. He got about nine yards on the carry. But I'm not sure. You're right. It's a hold, Kenny. He had nine yards of hard running on that dive play. 9.06 o'clock stop. Wayne County 9. West Jones 7. Wayne County's offense uh, 
Well, you guys, defense oh, has been pretty solid. And the offense kind of getting in if they could stop shooting themselves in the foot. Well, the only thing you do is you really just improve your offensive stats because you're having to re-catch the same <laughs> ground. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you just add the uh, yardage total, but you're not any closer to the goal line. I mean, it, you know, you're a half, you're a half full kind of guy, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I, tonight I am. Uh, yeah, that, you, that, if you, this if is kind of rare. If you tried to tie on I-59 at quarter to nine in the morning, yeah, you'd be a half, <laughs> half empty. <laughs> All right, here's a pass to Jackson. He takes the catch. He's looking for daylight at the 40. Makes one miss at the 30 and dragging the folks inside the 30. Kenny going to bring up a – he's going to be about two yards short of a first down. I tell you what, Zermine can really go. Boy, he can, Kenny. I tell you, he's a lot of fun to watch. He's so smooth. It's it's like the first automatic transmission that ever worked good. It just it's smooth. It shifts and goes. If the old-timers have ever remember watching Gail Sayers run, he kind of had a lope. And uh, sometimes he kind of gets that lope going. All right, trips right, single back set. He's trying to throw, going to look downfield, going to launch one down here. He's got number two down here in the five, and he goes up for it, but cannot make the catch. Got that was Darius Royal. Yeah, Royal and uh, who was down there with him? You're right, Kenny, two in the same spot. And that was uh, Page and Royal, I believe. Page comes up limping a little bit. That's going to bring up third down and about three yards to go at the 29. That is the Mustang 29. So the War Eagles are probably down here in four down territory. Single back set. That's Trey Williamson in the backfield behind uh, Fat. Uh, here goes Jackson in motion. Had it to Trey. He's making one miss and puts his head down. And I tell you what, he's going to be mighty he's close. Short. That's going to be short a yard. All righty, we'll see what this Warrior offense can do with the fourth and short. And uh, with 8.01 and counting in the first quarter, leading 9-7, to seven, but threatening here. And it looks like we've got a timeout. So we're going to take ourselves a 30-second break back to the station and be back after this word from our sponsor. He found a volume. Yeah. He found a volume knob down there somewhere. Good job, Tony. Well, welcome back. And uh, while we were coming back, Wesley got under center and did a quarterback sneak, and he got his yard and about seven or eight more as he just pushed and pulled and drug people down there in about the 15-yard line, Kenny. You give that credit to the offensive line uh, for just – Got just a good serve. Guys, guys in front of him just kept churning, kept churning. All right, here come the War Eagles. With, uh, Ball's on the 16, Marshall. That was a, a nine-yard Fats game. keeping it. He's moving his way. Makes one mess. He's spinning and gets down to inside the three-yard line. Did you see that move, Kenny? Quarterback Wesley just took the ball, moved to the left side, hit the right out there between the – about to tackle, and just took off downfield. First and goal, Wayne County. Sophomore, Shakira and Wesley. Boy, First good job. Good blocking too, Marshall. Oh, yeah. He had a nice lane to run in. All righty. 7.29 to go in the first half. War Eagles threatening, and they have a two-point lead, 9-7. to seven. Washington's in the backfield. Here comes uh, Brian Jackson in motion. Washington gets a handoff, and he's going to be tackled for a loss back around the four. Mustangs are not ready to fold that 10 up just quite yet. All righty, we're at the four down there with a Be a good time to level those quarterback sneaks. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get seven, eight yards on it, that'd be about yards, enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, they, they spotted him almost at the five, Marshall. All righty, here we go again. There's he's moving to his right. He makes the toss out there to uh, Williamson, and there's a touchdown for Wayne County on the toss from uh, Zakiri and Wesley to Trey Williamson, and it's a touchdown all the way. Kenny, I don't see any flags, do you? Not yep, yet. yep, there is one. There's one at the five. Flag at the five, so this touchdown may not stand. We're at 6.47 to go in the half. Hold Wayne County. That'll put it back to the 15. And Wayne County is 9-7. Uh, to seven. Touchdown comes off the board. The hold. And it's like Kenny says, I'm going to put my money on him. He says 15. That's where I'm going. Not quite, though. Looks like it's about 12. Well, if, it, if it's a spot foul, it must have been in, well inside the five. It must have been around the three. Second and goal from the 12. All right, a single back set. And there's a high pitch and another toss out here in the backfield and gonna lose, had a high snap and Wesley's pitch was high and you're gonna lose a couple of yards back out to the 
22, 23-yard line. So this <clears throat> kind of coming apart at the seams down here <laughs> once they got inside the five. But I, I'm fixing to say something I hadn't been able to say in a long time. Uh, we're in field goal range. <laughs> that is true. That is true. We got a timeout. We're going to talk a little bit about some of our uh, super fans. You know, Freddie Miller is our super fan of the week this week, and we appreciate him. And <clears throat> you know, our super fans uh, join up and help pay for the broadcast efforts of WC Web TV, bringing War Eagle football to you on uh, WABO. Uh, you know, for starters. And also, uh, we're streaming it on Easy Stream. And one thing you can do this year, uh, Sean's working with us on Dunlap it is to bring these uh, War Eagle games to you on demand at uh, local cable, WCCT Cable Channel 10, <coughs> on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 o'clock. And we appreciate him doing that for us. Uh, you can also follow the War Eagles on Facebook at War Eagle Football. Now, some of our other super fans, we'll get to those for you in a minute. We Right now we're going back in play and Kenny, it's uh, third down, and Wayne County's got two receivers both ways, 6-16, leading 9-7. to seven. There comes Mason in uh, motion. There's a toss, and it's uh, – oh, it was – it was Jackson's got the reverse here, and he's carrying the ball down, and there's a penalty flag, Kenny. Jackson gets down to about the six. They – I don't know where Jackson came from. I had my eyes on Bryce Mason moving left to right, and I thought he got the ball, but Jackson got it going the other way. That's pretty tricky. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure if this is an offensive hold or not. The way that flag came in, it was almost like um, a face mask or something. Yeah, a face mask or something, and, and uh, we'll know in a second here. I see Wayne County's not backing up yet. Man, I, I don't know. Well, Another okay. hold. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, I, the receiver was blocking downfield. He had his hands inside. But, uh, oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. And what it is, it's going to be a uh, Well, it's a spot foul and to move it back. Um, it, move we, it back somewhere if they ever figure it out. <laughs> if it happened around the three, it should put it around the 13. They got it at the 15. So he must have said it happened to 15. So now it's still third and goal from the 15. Well, Wayne County's getting a lot, getting a lot of time of <laughs> I'm telling you, it's uh. <laughs> Here we go. Williamson's in the backfield behind Wesley. There's a snap. And there's another uh, malfunction, another penalty. You know, it's uh first game of the year, Kenny. But, uh, and we've got a lot of youngsters out there. So, you're certainly seeing more execution issues than you'd like to see. Well, execution right now would not be a good word to use. <laughs> <laughs> because of what crosses your mind is to execute somebody that keeps causing these mistakes. Um, yeah. But, you know, it's early in the year. It's kind of one of those things that happen. And so third and goal from the 20, 6.07 to go. And there's going to be a – Fat's going to go back to throw. He's going to look downfield. Going to be flushed out of the pocket. Going to pull it up and throw it deep down here. And number two is going to go up and make the catch down there. It. I don't know, Ken. They give him – they're saying he's – they give it to him? No. It looked like a catch. It looked like Royal uh, might have had it in the corner of the end zone, but they said incomplete. So we're going to see a Mosley field goal attempt right here. Pat bought himself some time and worked out there and uh, launched one high down there in the corner of the end zone. And Royal made a good play on the ball. I thought he had it, Kenny. Yeah, I, I did too, but apparently he must have dropped it or stepped out of bounds. So this will be a 37-yarder? Is that Yes, right? sir. 36, 37 right at it. Uh, they better snap. I tell you what, that was a disastrous snap, but Mason did a great job of getting that thing on that the ground, good. and it was good. I, I don't know if you saw that snap I or not. Did. It rolled back there, and Bryce Mason is a senior. He's a coach's son out there, Will's son, and he plays receiver, showed good heads, got it down, and Moses got two field goals. We're going to take a quick 30-second break to the station and be back after this one word from our sponsors. Play another one, Sean. Oh, excuse me. Sean, you don't play another one. All right, play us another commercial. 65 yards. Well, they're showing that replay over and over down there, Kenny. I don't know. I, I thought he caught it, but I mean, I, you know. 
looked like a catch. It looked like he had his feet in bounds. Oh. Okay. We are back. And after the field goal, went, Moses got two field goals, and we got a touchdown and a missed extra point. And we got a 12-7 lead with 5.53 to go in the half. Uh, Wayne County is going to be kicking it off. And, uh, man, we've been throwing the ball, running the ball, doing a little uh, misdirection stuff. Wayne County, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch it, Kenny. Well, it has been so far. I mean, now that we've got a lead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot more fun than watching yeah, the front level. It. goes up exponentially <laughs> when you're ahead. All righty. Moses is going to kick this thing off again. He's been busy here in the first. He's had to kick it off four times. Got a uh, – had one run back on him. Missed the next point. Made two field goals. Moses is working hard. And here he goes. Puts his foot in this one, and it's not going to make the end zone. It's going to take a big hop and a bounce and be fielded at the five. And here come the Mustangs looking for somewhere to go. They cross the 20. And the Warriors are going to hem him up down there at about the 26-yard line. And a big pile of humanity down there. So with 5.43 to go in the half, the Mustangs will put the ball in play somewhere out around there, uh, 20, 20 like around a 30. Around 27. Okay, 27-yard line. Wayne County's up 12 to 7. Having a big time here tonight. All righty. You see Sue can put on a pot of coffee. We're going to need it. <laughs> I don't do so, do so well with that Red Bull stuff. <laughs> Green Bull, whatever it is, uh, or that five-hour energy. All right. Here come the Mustang offense. There's a snap and a handoff up the middle, and I'm telling you, folks, I wish you could see that. They gobbled him up, and that's Bivens again. I mean, Bivens got three or four tackles for loss already. I mean, that running back just ran into him, and he hit him face mask to face mask and just wrapped him up and took him right to his back. So that lost five yards. Well, that – uh. uh Bivens had Bivens an a offensive beast. lineman on his back. <laughs> He's a from beast. Behind. All righty. 5-17 and counting. 12-7. to seven. Wayne County. Mustang's got two receivers both ways. Single back set. Land back there in the backfield. And uh, looking to throw the ball. There's a pass going deep downfield, and that's going to be uh, good coverage. The Not the best thrown football in the world, but now uh, we had a defensive back back there all over him. And that was uh, Howard, a 183-pound, six-foot defensive back. So we're looking at a third and 15 for the Mustangs with 4.57 to go in the half. Wayne County can hold them here. They ought to get good field position. Not sure where that feedback's coming from. Got a little feedback. All righty, here come the Mustangs. Moving to his uh, left, and he's going to fire the ball out there, and it's going to be complete. Now let's see. They're going to give him the catch, but he's going to be short of the. He's going to be short of the first down. Going to bring up a well short. He's only about halfway there, so it's going to bring up a punting situation. For the Mustangs, Wayne County, 4.36 to go in the half. They lead 12 to 7, and they're fixing to get the ball back again. Uh, tune in for the WC Web TV half shot time show here in a little bit and listen to Coach Todd Mangum talk about this year's team. Jackson standing back here at his own 31 yard line waiting for this punt. There's a pretty good snap. There's a flag on the play, and there's a punt that's going to be caught at the 32, and Jackson heads upfield, and here he goes. They're going to hem him up at about the 30, 45-yard line. Tackled him high. Yes, they did. He's kind of slow getting up, but he's getting up. See what that penalty flag's about. Looks like it might have been against Wes Jones, huh? Well, I thought the, the gunner out there got an early start or maybe lined up a little ahead of the, ahead of the ball. Let's see uh, what it is. Let's see what Coach Mangum wants to do. He's going to take the football. All righty. Yeah, illegal procedure, so that's going to be declined. Wayne County's ball out there at their own 45-yard uh, line or thereabouts. First and 10, 4.06 to go in the first half. Wayne County up 12-7. to West Jones took the opening kickoff and ran it back for a touchdown. And since that time, War Eagle defense has shut them down pretty good. Wayne County has scored a touchdown uh, on their first play from scrimmage after a nice kickoff return themselves. And missed the extra point, went up six to nothing, and then two Mosley field goals, and we got a 12 to seven ball game right here. So uh, 
Here come the War Eagles with the first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. Trey Williams has spent a lot of time back there behind Wesley tonight. Trips left, single man on the right side for Wesley. Here's your snap. I'm going to be the fake it to Wesley. Here comes the fakes it to Williamson, and Wesley's going to keep it and get out there close to a first down. Kenny, he's going to be right at the sticks, but just short. Oh, he, took a, he took a pretty good pounding when he, uh, when he went down. Yeah, he's kind of hopping a little bit. Yeah, they kind of bird him. This varsity football is pretty tough, isn't it, Kenny? He can be. <laughs> Second and one. You used to could say it's not for girls, but, I mean, you can't say that anymore without getting sued. Trips to the left, single man right, single back, back there with uh, Wesley. Wesley's moving to his right, makes the pitch to Williamson, and oh, what a nice uh, move, and gets himself uh, about five or six yards in the first down, and they're, they're, tagging, they're tagging Wesley pretty good on that pitch. Well, that's what you do to a sophomore quarterback. You work on him, and uh, West is doing a good job of that. Know what their coach is telling them is you get a chance, pop him. <laughs> Every time you get a chance, and, and I mean, that's just football. Yeah. Uh, because he's, he's a youngster, but a good pickup by by Williamson, Williamson. Yeah. yeah, that uh, first and 10. 42. 42 yard line, 317 to go in the first. War Eagles uh, with the first and 10. It's first half, that is. There's a low snap. He's back to throw. Going to fire one up. Got a man open down here, and it's caught at the uh, 15 yard line, and that's Brian Jackson. I tell you what, that he went up and caught that one. Could have been six if he could have kept his feet, feet, but he bailed fat out on that one. It was a little high, and he yeah, went got it. You know, like these throws are looking a lot like a motor arch. <laughs> uh, you know, a punt, more a punt than a pass. But, again, a sophomore, he's got to learn to bring that thing down, put a little more zip on it. And uh, and and so, you, you know, your receivers, when your receiver has to break stride like that and wait on the football, that's that's telling you you're not getting it out there like you need to. But, hey. He saw it. He saw the results. Yeah. yeah I mean, he did see him <laughs> throw it to him. There's a handoff up the middle, and uh, – Pretty tough road to hoe there to get down about the about the line of scrimmage. You know, there's been some years we didn't have anybody that could throw it or catch it. <laughs> Much less see an open receiver. Oh. So you uh, you count your blessings. 2.36 to go in the half. Wayne County up 12-7, threatening again with a second and 10 down here at the 15-yard line of the Mustangs. Mustangs hadn't had a lot of opportunities. Wayne County's had plenty of opportunities, but now it's, it's the flip side of that. They've only been able to put 12 points on the board so far. Yeah, Williamson is behind Wesley. Williams is looking to throw. Going to fire one out there. The Mason makes the catch at the 15. He's going to put his head down and drive down to about the 20 now. now I'm a, not sure what that's about. I There's nobody they, out here. I think they're going to say uh, Mason put his face hand on the face mask of the defender, but let's see. Let's see. I mean, you throw it back up field like that, I mean, that's – that's uh. Let's see what the call is, Kenny. It's whatever it is, personal, personal foul, foul yeah. face mask. Bryce put his face, put his hand on the face mask of the guy that was trying to tackle him, and they called him for a penalty on that. That's what it looked like. Uh, That's going to back him up. He was down there uh, at about the 15-yard line. That's going to back him up. One thing about it. Put him out around the 30. Yeah, right back there, like you said, 29, 212 to go in the half. Wayne County 12, West Jones 7. And uh, four. Here come the war. That's about 29. Back to throw, straight back, moving to his left now. He's going to turn the juice on and just uh, get sacked. I think he fumbled the ball back here at the 37, 38 yard he, line. He was down. He better have been down. I might file a protest. I tell you what, he's moving kind of slow. He's uh, he's taking a beating down there. They're, they're the, working on it. Yeah. The, it's going to bring up. Uh, this will be third, third down and a long way to go. We're at the 29-yard line with a third and 24, I do suppose. Well, it must have been. They must have rooted an incomplete pass. They did. It's back at the 29. 2:03. Clock is stopped right now at 2:03. Game clock stops. The 25-second clock's running. Okay, here we go. The incomplete pass. That's right. Okay, there's a. Lateral back here to Williamson. He's going to pull up and throw down here to number two in the end zone, a halfback pass. And I tell you what, he's going to – does he make the catch? No, it was broken up. Broken up. Yeah, he threw it to – he, he did the lateral to Trey Williamson, and Williamson tried to get it downfield uh, to Darius Royal. And uh, Royal's been all over that thing a couple of times trying to make that catch in the end zone. Hadn't, he'd been so close, Kenny, but hadn't been able to do it. Well, Warriors uh, 
missing a scoring opportunity here, and it's uh, going to be fourth down. Oregon offense is staying out there. Don't see any field goal kicker. Of course, it'd be a 47-yarder. <laughs> oh, we got a penalty, Kenny. What was it? I didn't see that. I missed it. Whatever it is, it's 15, uh, 15 yards. It must have been a pass interference then. Pass interference. Sean yeah, I see a flag right in the end zone. Picking up our slack and bailing us out. Good job there. Good shot there, Sean. All righty. That gets us inside the chains down there with a third, still third down. We're down there at about the seven yard line now with 157 to go in the half. A 12 to seven lead. Be nice to get some more points because I tell you what, five point lead's not enough. All right, they're back to the three backs in the backfield with him. Page is in motion. There's a handoff to uh, Fat's going to keep it, uh, fake the dive and keep it, and he's going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard loss. We're looking at a field, another field goal. Boy, I tell you what, Mosley's been busy in this first half, Kenny. He has, and this is something like we used to play some of the coast teams, you know, years ago, and they'd field goal you to death. And West has been able to do that too over the years, kick field goals. We've kept them out of the end zone. They've kicked field goals till we were – we were cross-eyed. Let's take a 30-second break to the station. We've got an injured football player. We'll take 30 seconds to the station to be back after this break. Uh, with 1.39 to go in the half, and uh, Moses is out to try about a 31-yarder. And uh, we've had some trouble with the snap. There's a pretty decent snap, and the hold is down by Mason, and there goes another field goal through the Good. uprights. So with 1.35 to go in the first half, it's now Wayne County 15, and uh, the Mustangs... Seven. 30 seconds back. Now we're going to stay with this. We're going to stay with it. Uh, Kenny, a big, big half for Mosley. I mean, you're talking about, you know, field goal kickers, what a weapon they can be. And it's not every time. We, we, we're blessed we, to have Yeah, him. we hadn't. You, you better believe we are. He's kicked uh, 27, 37, and now uh, 30. <laughs> and, uh, hey, that's nine points, brother. We'll take them. And the snaps that have been kind of iffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little shaky, yeah. <laughs> but that's the first game. That's good. Moses is going to be out there to kick it off again. Uh, again, we're going to give a shout-out to uh, Freddie Miller, our super fan of the week. Moses is getting set to kick this thing off again with uh, 1.35 to go in the half and a 15-7 to lead by the War Eagles. Moses kicks it. It's going to be kind of squibby looking and bouncing all over the place and reeled in down there about the 11. Here come the Mustangs. They're going to break tackles and get out across the 35 to about the 36. So the War Eagle defense will take the field again. They're going to have the ball, uh, like I said, out there around the 37-yard uh, line, nosed up there with 128 to go in the half. Fifteen to seven, Wayne County trips left for the Mustangs. Single back uh, set with the quarterback. Three man front for the War Eagle defense. And back to throw the pass. There's a man that uh, looked like he was open, and I'm telling you, oh, Joshua play. Page just came in there and made a next level play right there and broke that thing up. What closing speed on that ball he had, Kenny? Man, I tell you what, that was a pretty, pretty play. And you know what he did, too, the technique? He didn't try to make a fancy interception. He just knocked the ball down. First things first, let's get an incomplete pass right here. Tell you what, he almost knocked it to the corner up there. <laughs> uh, that was If he turned around in time, he might have had a chance at it. All right, here we go with another snap. There's going to be a handoff up the middle. And, oh, boy, they got a, that was a nice run. Somebody had him in the backfield. He slipped out and got about a yard. Clock is at 115 and a half, 15 to 7 Wayne County, and the Mustangs are looking at about a third and nine. This War Eagle defense has really been stellar, Kenny. Really been stellar in this first half. Well it uh, you know it's uh, it for the, to be this early in the year and look as sharp as they have, yeah. I mean that's uh of course the offensive this early aren't very aren't as sharp because they don't have the repetitions yet, but still they're doing a pretty good job of uh, of keeping West hemmed up right now. All right, they're going all the way with that front front three that's been there, and there's going to be a handoff up the middle, and uh, going to make his way out, and going to be struck down hard. Looked like he might have had some good room there, but they're going to strike him down after about a four-yard gain. Going to bring up 
Fourth down, another fourth down. <laughs> Bivens came from the far, his Uncle Gene Barnett would say the far hand side and ran, Man. ran across the field and uh, got he, in on the tackle. He stuck him. We're inside 19 seconds in the uh, first half and this, uh, this, they may just run this thing out. Uh, I believe, let's see if they call a timeout and try to do a Hail Mary or something. I don't think so. I think they're going to let her go. And that's going to bring the first half to a close with the score of Wayne County 15, West Jones 7. We're going to take a break and then be back with the WC Web TV halftime show and our guest, Coach Mangum, after this word from our sponsors. Don Lapp's going to be making sure that we'll be able to see Wayne County High School War Eagle football. We're going to take a 30-second break back to the station, and we'll be back after this one word from our sponsors for the toss and deferred, and even though they kicked it off, uh, hey, we lost, we lost. 99 yards yeah. touchdown return. But we're all going to get the ball to start the second half, so with a 15-7 to 7 lead, which is a good thing. So Will won't take us long to see where our quarterback's going to be here in the second half. Williamson and Page and Howard are back deep to receive this kickoff. Defensively, you know, we've had Quentin Bivens and Braxton Lee and Jeremy Sibley and LeVan Davis and Greg Robinson playing real good up front for us. And, but anyway, we're getting ready to start this thing off right here, and the Mustangs are going to kick it away. And Wayne County's going to get the ball and hopefully can uh, continue their success ahead of offense in the first half. I'm sure there'll be some adjustments made on both sides of the ball. Maybe uh, I like necessary roughness. Hey, you put me in. I hadn't played yet. <laughs> All righty. 12 minutes to go in the third quarter as we're getting ready to start this thing up. And you know, but, folks ought to already, already know, Marshall, that we love movies and movie <laughs> quotes. Yeah. That's part how we entertain ourselves on these There's a trips. kick. It's going to be fielded down here at the 20. And there is uh, Wayne County's got a nice return running hard out there close to the 40 yard line. That is number two on the return. There is Royal. And he's going to get it. Right there close to the 40. Their own 40 for the War Eagles. And let's see what we got to offer up here offensively here. Man, they will place him squarely on the 40. Right on it. Here come the War Eagle offense. And I do believe that our quarterback here is going to be Zabrian Jackson. Zabrian was our quarterback last year. Looks like uh, Wesley's uh, not going to be able to return here to start the second half anyway. So, Trey Williamson's in the backfield with Jackson. Two receivers both ways for Zabrian. Zabrian's going to take the snap. He's going to hand the ball. No, he's going to pull it up here on the run pass option and throw it to Mason. He's going to make the catch behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, got away from didn't make the catch. It almost looked like a ladder. I've, that's what I was just fixing to say. I'm not too sure. <laughs> that thing is close. <laughs> close, close. Bryce did the smart thing. He stayed with it and got it up. Uh, you know, he, even though he, he, he didn't catch it, he stayed with it and picked it up off the ground. Heads he play. So 0 for 1 in the passing department for Brian Jackson. <clears throat> Second and 10 for the War Eagles. Back, Jackson's back to look to throw again. Go fire one deep downfield. He's got we, uh, Trey Williamson down there. Makes the catch, catch. catch inside the 20 he's yard good. line. Trey Williamson. Jackson hung one out down the sidelines. And Trey Williamson went and got it. He came out of the backfield and got it. And that's a first down Wayne County at the 17 yard line. Holy smoke. I tell you, the way he hung that thing up, it, it's just like perfect. Waiting, yeah, waiting on a pop fly to come down. And <laughs> Williamson made a great adjustment to the football. Oh, he ball. did. He, he, you could see him check up a step or two and then turn and, and catch the football. That's just a great adjustment by the youngster. First, ten, first and 10, Wayne County inside the 20 down here. We'll set the 17 with the first and 10, 11 14 to go in the third quarter. 15 to 7 lead. Wayne County's in the red zone and threatening again. Two receivers both ways. Williamson in the backfield. He's going to take the handoff up the middle and work hard for a little. Kenny, he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. They might give him a yard, maybe. Warren checks in at receiver number 37. Washington checks out. Page and uh, Howard are to the left. Mason and Warner to the right. And uh, Williamson is in the backfield behind Zabrian Jackson, the senior quarterback for the War Eagles, looking at second and 10 from the 17. 
Jackson straight back to throw, looking downfield. They're going to put some pressure on him, and they knocked the ball out of his hand, Kenny, and I don't know if Wayne County was able to get on it or not. Yeah. Looks like the Mustangs have got it. So they got pressure on Jackson, and they knocked the ball out of his hand, and the Mustangs dodged a bullet right there. Well, they did. Wayne County's defense is going to come back out here. There's uh, Joshua Howard, number six, is in that linebacker, and there's uh, number 46, Revan. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Chambers is out there at linebacker. Rod Watkins, number 26, is out there on defense. Uh, that's uh, Shontavious Smith is a defensive back. Briggs. Howard and uh, Page are your uh, safeties. Mustangs are back to throw. They're going to fire one out there. No, it's, it's picked up by Howard. Let's go Big six. Six. Touchdown. Touchdown, Wayne County. We just called oh, his really name out that. there, Joshua Howard. Stepped in front of that ball, and uh, Joshua is a 5'10", 199-pound junior linebacker, and I tell you what, he had a big play. He had an interception. He had a pick six in Biloxi in the spring game last week, I do believe. Uh, not the spring game. He did. The scrimmage game. He last got week, the spring around. the spring, Sean Dunlap. What are you talking about back here? <laughs> Getting all excited up in this house. It's late. It is late. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not too late for Joshua Howard who just picked that ball off and went to the end zone with it. Wayne County goes up 21-7 to with 10-16 to go in the third. Here's your PAT, and the kick is up, and it's going to be, how about that, Kenny? Good. All righty. Let's take a quick 30-second break. Let me try to calm down a little bit, and we'll be back after a 30-second break for more football. And, uh, Wayne County on the Howard interception to pick six uh, goes up 22-7. to This defense has been phenomenal. I got to tell you, I... We watched them. I watched them last week in Biloxi and said, man, this defense could be pretty good. And watching them down here tonight, they've been, they've been phenomenal so far, Kenny. Well, they, they've played a solid ball game tonight. They really have. We're at 10-16 to go in the third quarter. Wayne County now up 22-7. Got down there and turned the ball over. And uh, I'll tell you what, Joshua Howard said, I'll take care of this. I got this. You boys don't worry about it. I'll just take this on to the house get it and Give us that seven we needed. He read it to perfection. It was, he was about five yards deep, and uh, best I could tell, he finally got possession of the football around <laughs> the 20. So we'll call it a 20-yard pick six. But, man, that was a great play. He just read that and just stepped right up in a uh, pair of white jerseys and took the <laughs> ball away from him. It looked like, you know, as you hear it said, he wanted it worse than they did. Uh, he did. He battled for it, and that's why I say he kind of had a few steps there before he ever really got it gathered in. Mosley kicks one back down there about the 10 with some backspin on it, and they're going to field it, and the Mustangs are going to get out across the 25 to maybe the 28, 29-yard line. Here comes the Warrior defense back on the field. Well, they didn't make but one play before, Marshall. We'll see what they'll... Uh... I guess that was the yin and the yang right there. They had the kickoff return to start the first half, and Wayne County got to pick six to start the second one, basically. So <clears throat> here we go. Well, you want to score on your first possession in the second half. We didn't, but we turned around and scored on their first possession. <laughs> All righty, here come the Mustangs. Single back set, two receivers wide both ways. There's going to be a handoff up the middle and uh, pretty tough sled. And going to get across the 30 for about two or three, about three yards, maybe four on first down. Ten minutes and counting in the third quarter. Wayne County 22, West Jones 7. West Jones touchdown uh, points have came on a return of the opening uh, kickoff for a touchdown. Their offense hasn't been able to muster any points as of yet, but we're still got a, almost a half to play here tonight in the, in the, uh, the Timber Bowl. All righty. Back to pass. There's a handoff and a nice move. Makes a couple of tackles, but the Warriors defense is going to gobble him up. There's Briggs and uh, oh, there's so many of pages in there. 26 is in there rooting around. Uh, Smith. We'll tell you what made that play, and he didn't make the tackle, but that was Bivens. Bivens came across and beat that, beat that tackle on the outside and just basically threw up a roadblock, and a running back had to cut back to the inside because Bivens was waiting on him there, and uh, War Eagle Pursuit took care of business. Bivens is limping off the field there, and uh, number 99, Greg Robinson checks in in his stead. Bivens has been mighty busy, and he's kind of, Rubbing his leg a little bit. The SCIA works out. Three-man front, and there's the snap, and the handoff up the middle. No. Well, the yeah, the middle, and the first down for the Mustangs. They get out across the 45. Bivens checks out, and uh, there's about a 10 to 15-yard run right there with him gone. 
Well, they ran away from the side Bivens has been on over there in this time, and we just got pinched inside. The linebacker got jammed to the inside, and uh, he just cut it out and uh, to the outside and picked up good yardage enough for a first down to the 45. All right, first down for the Mustangs at their own 45. And there's the balls on the ground, and the Mustang quarterback's just going to have to cover it up back there about the 40-yard line. So that's going to cost him five or six yards with 8.45 to go in the third. Wayne County up 22-7. to seven. Number two is checking into the ball game for the Oregon defense. That's uh, Royal. Been playing receiver. Briggs is at the left corner. Uh, 26. Smith is your right corner out here. It's the right side of the defense. Second and 15 for the Mustangs from their own 40. Quarterback's going to look and kind of keep it all the way and turn up field and going to get tackled hard. And Ball's loose. loose. And I think let's see what it's going. Wayne County says they got it. And uh, I believe they do. They were running with it. So it was like Wayne County, the quarterback was running all the way and the ball comes loose. And Wayne County says they got it, but we don't have an official signal yet. I, I, I thought the ball knocked the I mean, the ground knocked the ball loose. I thought it was it, it went loose when he hit the ground. Well, that'll be down by contact them on it. Uh, if unless they didn't see it, and because uh, I thought when the quarterback went down, just as he hit the ground, the ball popped out, and if ground causes a fumble, it's considered down. I, I don't think they're going. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a Mustang ball. There's a penalty on the play. There's a holding penalty. So. Okay, so. What we're gonna do, K Dog? Well, we're back we're, them up. Yeah, we'll take the penalty and uh, make them punt it from a little further back. They'll get another shot at it here, but uh, another couple of plays. But the the biggest thing is going to be with the way the defense has been playing. You don't mind, you know, taking that penalty and, and give them another down. They're in a second and 25 right now. And they're backed up about their own 30, 31 yard line, trading 22 to seven over the Mustangs with 8:04 to go in the third. Two receivers right, one left, two backs in the backfield, and there's a flag on the play. So let's see what's going to happen here. First game, you know, we've seen a little sloppy. You know, both offenses have been a little sloppy from time to time. Procedure. Uh, one of the things that I was looking at there is uh, one of the last side linebackers for Wayne County turned around and talked to the safety uh, as that play was blown dead and pointed to a West Jones receiver, and so those guys are coaching each other up and talking to one another after. That's a good sign. Second, a couple of country miles to go for the Mustangs. They're back about their own 25-yard line. Rod Watkins is coming off the edge, and I tell you what, he missed the man, but I tell you, oh, that was uh, <laughs> Bivens. Oh, my goodness. He just tackled that guy so hard right down there about a yard gain. I mean, that hurt. I, you could feel it up here. Well, I mean, you, you could hear your quarterback say, <laughs> almost, and bam. <laughs> it's uh, sort of like when somebody knocks a fly down, somebody else steps on him. A fly thinks, well, I dodged that bullet. <laughs> It's about third and thirty or so, seven nineteen to go in the third. Yeah, it one one bullet short of dodging all they needed to dodge. Uh, seven twelve to go in county, twenty two to seven a Wayne County lead. Third down and a long way to go for the Mustangs. Straight back to pass after Rod Watkins getting after him, puts pressure on him and he makes him uh, throws the ball complete. Notice it one hopped it out there to an incomplete pass and. I tell you, Rod Watkins has had a good night, too. I mean, we saw him early in that first quarter. He was lighting people up left and right, and he's coming off that corner hard and fast. Well, he and Howard on those two outside linebacker spots, that's a pretty formidable. Uh, that yeah, turned out that, to be a pretty tough bunch. That was a big, uh, that was a big uh, question mark for us last year. And you saw in the first four games, we, we opened up 0-4 before uh -huh. we made a run. The uh, you know that was a position we were hurting at. We didn't have any experience there, and, and those guys coming back that's huge. There's the punt, and Williamson's going to move over there and going to field it up at the 32. And here he goes upfield, and he's uh, across uh, no the 45 out to about the 49, 48 yard line. There's a flag on the play with 6:49 to go. Illegal block. K Dog says it's an illegal block. Wayne County's out close to the midfield, and we'll see what this does to him. Wayne County 22 to seven over West Jones with 6:49 to go here in the uh, Timber Bowl. The Raymond Rivette Timber LLC Timber Bowl 2017. That was a 41-yard punt, actually. 
I probably got started kind of slow, but uh, he's picked up the pace here a little bit the last three or four times he's punted at Kenny. He's had some nice punts. Wayne County's got the ball at their own 46 with the first and 10 and a 22 to 7 lead with 6.49 to go in the third. Here comes his Ryan Jackson and company. You know, the interesting thing about that penalty is called downfield. They stepped the penalty off, and we actually are about where we were tackled. That is interesting. Why you bother to take it? <laughs> I mean, you yeah, just the same play place. football. You know, let's go. Yeah, just whatever. <laughs> Jackson's moving to that makes the pitch back there to uh, Washington. And they knocked the ball out of Washington. It's a fumble, and uh, the Mustangs have it inside the Warrigal. No, I don't. They know. had it and let it get away from we, them. We got back on top of it. They had every chance in the world. That's why you try to recover the fumble and not pick it up and run with it, Kenny. They tried to pick it up and go with it, and they couldn't get a handle on it. And uh, Wayne County is going to maintain possession, I do believe. They knocked each other off the ball too when they're trying to went back to it. It was a pitch to Washington, and it was just they lit Washington up, and the ball got on the ground, and Wayne County has got themselves in a second down and a long way to go at their own 34-yard line. And you have to give, or I have to give uh, Jackson credit for the loss, the 12-yard loss, yeah. because he pitched the ball. Jackson takes a snap, going to hand the ball straight up to Washington. Washington's got it running, breaking free, and he's across midfield, and uh, with a nice gain up the middle, Kenny, on the dive play. Well, just good blocking up front, a nice hole, and he did a good job of finding daylight as he worked his way through, and uh, once he got a little daylight, he kicked in his afterburner, and small as it may be right now, yeah. and uh, once he lit that boiler, he gets it back with a, a manageable third down now, Marshall, third and about six or seven yards. We'll say six, third and six, with 6.02 to go in the third, and a 22-7 Wayne County lead. Here's a 30-second break back at two break for you back to the station to hear from some of our sponsors. We'll be back after this word. Thanks for Wayne County at midfield. Inside six minutes in the third. Looks like the Mustangs got off sides, but there's no penalty there. It's yep. flag on the far side. As Uncle Gene would say, the far hand side. Far hand side. Dalton Cochran uh, out there. Austin Hudson, Hunter Phil, y'all. Playing some uh, that changes offensive things, line. Marshall. 50, you. 51 is uh, Justice Singleton. Go ahead, Kenny. No, just uh, gives you a third and one. Yeah. Cole Turner, number 66, get those offensive linemen. And like Kenny said, we're looking at a third and one with trips to the right. Single to the set. Washington's in the backfield, and he's going to get the handoff in the first down. And then some as he's turning, uh, driving those legs, keeping them moving, and getting down to the 40-yard line. Yeah, he. Uh, in fact, he managed to get down to the 39, so that's solid four yards and a War Eagle first down, and that's that's what you got to have. Okay, we're seeing another running back out here for the first time tonight. This is a sophomore a running back. Uh, will be number 40 for Wayne County. He's a load, too. He's about 220-pounder, and that is J.J. Walker. J.J.'s going to get the ball, and here he goes, breaking tackles, and uh, gets down to about the 35-yard line for a – Nice four or five yard gain on first down. He's a big old, he's a big young. He's smooth too. When he got out there on the corner and that, that safety came up to hit him, he just rolled into it. You know, I, I mean, man, he, that's. He's, he runs so much under control and he takes those short steps. He's, I'm not saying he's Herschel Walker, but I mean, if you remember how Herschel Walker's running style was, I mean, he's compact and he, yeah. runs, he runs like that. There he goes again, running hard, and here he goes, breaking tackles and running over folks inside the 30. He's got a first down, does J.J. Walker, on his second carry of the night, and they're going to take him out. Good start for J.J. Around the 29. They're going to leave him in there. Trey Williams was coming Williams was coming, out, coming in, but J.J. says, uh, coaches want to see J.J. Tote the mail some more. He's back behind Brian Jackson with 4.33 to go in the third, a 22-7 Wayne County lead. And there goes J.J. again up the middle, and he's just pushing the pile and dragging folks for uh, about, three, about three yards on that carry. Inside five minutes of the third. Actually, we're at 417 to go in the third quarter, 22-7 to seven, Wayne County. And Wayne County's looking at a second and about six. Walker out, Washington in. Jackson's your quarterback. Warren is split out left with Mason. And uh, there's a pass down here to the corner to number two, and he's going to – did he make the catch this time? 
Yes, he got the touchdown. Jackson's got another touchdown. You know, bless his heart, old Royal's been down there trying to get that catch in that corner of that end zone all night. He's had two, missed him, but he got that one. And I tell you what, Jackson's throwing that ball pretty good, Kenny. He is. A good, good throw. Had a good lob on it. 28. Just a nice, nice pass. He got two nice touchdowns, two nice throws. All right, we're on for the PAT. Hey, Bear snaps. Good snap. There's a good hold, and I tell you what, uh, another extra point by Mosley, and we're looking at 29-7 uh, with 3.51 to go in the third. Wayne County's up. We take a quick 30-second break to the station and be back after this word. Wayne County 29, West Jones 7. You having fun yet, Kenny? I'm starting to get there now. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get there now. All righty. Mosley's been a busy man tonight. He's got two or three field goals. How many has he got? Three or two? Uh, three. Three field goals. Mm -hmm. Been kicking the ball off all night. He hadn't had one in the end zone in a while. I don't know if that's by design or not, but let's see what happens here. He approaches the ball, puts a foot in. He's going to kick that one. He's just kind of squibbing it down there. And this is filled in at the 20, and here come the Mustangs, and they're going to Warriors are going to get after him, and the old boy, number 44, shows up a little late and just knocks somebody's helmet off. <laughs> and uh, Jeremy Reed down there with a big stop, K-Dog. Got him inside the 30. They're about their own 26, 27-yard line, 341 to go. So the Mustangs are in the third quarter, that is. Mustangs uh, start their own 27-yard line. Oracle's with that 29-7 lead right now. Here come the Mustangs. Oracle's have got the, still got the horses in there. There's going to be a handoff up the middle, and there's a nice hole. It's a running room, and the Mustangs are going to get themselves a first down out to the 40-yard line, 41-yard line. Pitts, number 30, on the tackle for the War Eagles. Caleb Pitts, a 5'10", 212-pound linebacker. Smith is out there. Rod Watkins. Braxton Lee, Quentin Bivens. Jeremy Selby. Number 18 is uh, checking in for the War Eagles on the defensive side of the ball. That's Robert Arrington playing cornerback. That's somebody down with a cramp. Number 20 is on the other side at the corner. That's Travion Lawson. We got some new defensive backs in there right now. Howard and uh, Watkins are still your outside linebackers. Okay. Uh, this has been a, a big night here at, at, at Wayne County with the Timber Bowl, and uh, we've had a, it's been well attended. And this one's kind of getting out of hand, and I think. Uh, as late as it's getting, a lot of people are starting to leave. But it's been a big, big night in Wayne County. Yeah, that, that's Austin Land, the youngsters down with a cramp. That's number one, the running back for West. And, man, they have worked him tonight. Yeah. He's earned his. <laughs> i tell you what, that War Eagle defense has worked on him, too. So uh, He won't have any trouble cashing his check tomorrow. <laughs> Second and ten. Oh, excuse me, first and ten, I believe it is. The board and the down marker. The down marker says two, so we'll go with that. And there's a. Hand oh, off the oh, old boy. They missed him in the first time, but he made it back to about a yard gain. And C.J. Chambers rounds him, in, rounds him up. Joshua Howard over there. They were giving chase. It's second down. There's been a little discrepancy between yeah, the, it's, the, it's score, second, it's between it's, the scoreboard and the down marker, but we got it right now. They're both on the same page. Second down and about nine to go from their own 40, 41-yard line of the Mustangs. 29 to 7, Wayne County with 2.53 to go in the third. Back to pass. There's a nice throw and catch and a first down for the Mustangs. Boy, it was a good throw, good out pattern over there. And, uh, he did, the youngster did a good job to get that ball on the money. Howard, and that's a uh, Hunter Parrish. Howard drops back in coverage, and even though we got a first down, Howard makes the tackle, gets him out of bounds. Howard's checking out right now. Inside Warrigal territory are the Mustangs with 2:43 to go in the third, and a 29 to seven lead for Wayne County.
There's going to be a handoff, and uh, oh boy, they were all over that in this. <laughs> He's going to wind up losing a yard or so. First one yanking on him down there was C.J. Chambers. He had some help behind him, and Chambers was yanking on him pretty good. Sibley in there as well. Bivens was making a mess down there as he's been doing all night. That got him outside the chains at second and, uh, we'll say second and uh, 12 yards to go with 218 and counting in the third, 29 to 7. Wayne County on top. Man, it's just like trying to find find a safe place in a, in a hornet's nest, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. That's a well described, Kenny. Back to throw, and there's a pass. I picked off again, and who is it? It's Rod Watkins has got the ball, and he's at the 20. The quarterback's giving chase, but he will not get him as Watkins goes into the end zone for the second six pick, pick six of the night. A six pick or a six pack or a pick six or something. <laughs> Getting close to the witching hour here. Man, I tell you what, that was, uh, that was <laughs> I mean, just as smooth as you'll see. Oh. I tell you what, both of our outside linebackers have got pick sixes tonight. Well, now we're even at two apiece on the turnovers. <laughs> All right, we're going to try the PAT right here. Hayberry, Hayberry's going to snap and Mason to hold and Mosley on for another PAT. 154 to go to the third. Wayne K trying to make it a 36-7 ball game. That's a 58-yard pick six, Marshall. Sweet. How sweet it is, as Jackie Gleason used to say. There's a PAT, and I tell you what, it's good. It would have been so from a mile. 154 to go in the third. Wayne County 36, West Jones 7. Here's a 30-second break back to the station. We'll see you after this word from our sponsors. And uh, 154 to go in the third, 36 to 7, Wayne County. Mosley's setting up to kick it off again. He ought to be worn out, Kenny. He'll probably need a little... Uh, been gay or something <laughs> if they still sell that sort of stuff. And some kind of go. sports rub. Puts a big foot in this one, and this is going to go into the end zone. And uh, it goes about five yards deep in the end zone. And uh, by rule, it'll be out to the 20-yard line. Or was it 25? Uh, 20. 20? Where did I get 25? Still from? in high school. Still uh, college. Is that what they're doing? Touchback room high and uh, college is bring it back out to the 25. You know, it's easy. To, I don't have to know anything. All I got to do is sit over here and look pretty. Well, you 0 for 1 there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, what's, what time is it? It's 11.45. We got a 36 or 7 lead. We're going to have some fun up in this house tonight. You hear me? duty time. <laughs> All right, here come the Mustangs from the 20 with the first and 10, and the handoff to the middle, and guess what? There's a... Oh, that's about a three or four yard loss, and I tell you what, there's one, two, three, four, five, five war eagles on that running back. I, I, and that's Paul Lamb again, and that rascal is. Bless his heart. He is. Uh, Bless his heart. I tell you what, they need to, they need to all buy him hamburger this weekend. <laughs> they owe it to him. Okay. Ball's uh, just inside the 18, Marshall. And uh, 125 in counting, 36 Wayne County, 7 West Jones. Here comes your snap, and he's uh, there's a stoppage of play. Timeout. Got a timeout. We're going to the station for a commercial break. We're going to say 30 seconds and see what happens. 30-second break to the station. See you after this word from our sponsors. For Wayne County High School War Eagle football. And uh, having a good time up here in the press box calling this one. 36-7. to 7, Wayne County has the lead with 117 to go in this third quarter. And uh, they started on the 20-yard line after that kick in the end zone, Kenny. And uh, You're on the 18 now. Now they're on the 18. Not our 18, but their 18. We're starting to uh, see some new folks in there on the defensive front, the defensive side of the ball. There goes your boy Land again, but I tell you what, there's one still out there, and that's Bivens. And I t- Boy, he just, you just saw a big, just like <laughs> old excavator arms. Uh, yeah. He just grabbed him by the shoulder pads. And that was a good down. analogy. I'm going to tell you what, Quentin is a big guy, but now the way he, he's at, he's, you know, this sounds fun. He's athletic. He can move. Oh, he's just like he's sitting on, he's, he's, he's on ball bearings. I mean, he just, <laughs> roller bearings, he just, he, he is, he's smooth. It's third and ten. We're inside a minute in the third. And uh, see if they can. Convert. 
Looking to throw. Oh, Lord. Talk about a hole. There was a tackle out there on the outside. And an incomplete pass. So that's going to stop the clock with 33 seconds to go in the third quarter. But Wayne County is going to, the Mustangs going to have to punt. And uh, Wayne County's got a 36 to 7 lead. Trey Williamson is going to be back to receive the, receive the punt. 15, Evan Pitts. Back to punt. The punter is standing down here. To, uh, he'll take this snap at about his own seven-yard line. He kind of started out kind of slow punting that ball, Kenny, but he's been kicking he, it pretty good. Yeah, the last one was uh, with the roll and everything was better than 40 yards. We got some strange stuff going on with our return teams. There's a pretty nice punt, and Trey's going to move up on it, make the catch at the 40. going to look for somewhere to go, and he turns up field, and he's inside the 50, inside the 45, down to about the 41-yard line. So the Warriors are going to be in Mustang territory once again. That was a 40-yard in the air punt, Marshall. Nice punt. Wayne County has not had to punt tonight. And uh, you would be correct. And as you stated, Tommy Wayne would say, we, we have not lined up in punt formation yet. And as if you said earlier, we've had the two pick sixes. Watkins had one, and Howard had one, and those were both in the third quarter. Yes, uh, one that wanted to begin right close to the beginning, the other uh, uh, on the other side of it. All right. Here comes the War Eagle. I think what you're going to see now is a, a lot of running the football from Coach Mangum. Keep that clock moving. All right. This is probably the last play of the third quarter. 36-7 lead, Wayne County. This is Brian Jackson is your quarterback. He has a handoff to Washington up the middle, and there he goes with a nice uh, about two-yard two gain. So this is going to bring the third quarter to an end. Wayne County 36, West Jones Seven. We're going to take a 60-second break to the station and be back after this word from our sponsors. I'm glad to be here. Live on WABO FM 105.5. You did do it, didn't you? That's what I'm talking about. All righty. And that uh, station ID in there. That should be the first time we've actually kept federal law <laughs> three years. All right, second down, and we'll say nine. There comes uh, Jackson moving to his left, turns it upfield. Here he goes, breaking a tackle or two, breaking another tackle. And uh, I don't know if I broke five tackles on that run, but he didn't give him about seven yards. But it was a exciting seven. And a long seven <laughs> because it takes more time off the clock. <laughs> Which is at 11.40 to go in the contest. Wayne County 36, West Jones 7. Let her go, boys. This, this will, that's about an eight-yard gain, Marshall, so it's second and third and two. Third and two. All righty. Williamson is behind uh, Jackson. Trips left. Jackson's uh, going to hand it to Williamson. He's going to try to get on the left side. Breaks it. Kind of semi-breaks that tackle. They stumbled him up pretty good, and he might have got a... Might have got back to the last scrimmage. It's going to bring up fourth down and a couple of yards to go for the War Eagles. So what, what do you do here? Do you, you line up, kick the field goal? I say you go for it. I mean, uh, I mean, you really, at this point, you want to keep the ball and run time off the clock. Control the, if you control the ball, you control the clock. And uh, I just say go for it. That's what they're going to do, of course. I, you know, that's just me. Let's see if they get a first down. There's going to be a – Jackson looks like he's going to throw it. He's going to tuck it down and run it, and he's going to be short. short. He's going to be short. So, 10.34 to go. The Warriors turn the ball over on downs at their own 31-yard line, and the Mustangs uh, are going to get the ball trailing 36-7 to with 10.34 to go in the football game. Starting to see a lot of new faces out there. Let's see, 96 for the War Eagles. Jack West Turner's out there on the defensive front. 26 is Smith. He's been out there a lot at corner. 99. Gregory Robinson's been playing a lot. And uh, let's see, that's 91. Spencer saw a junior defensive end out there now for Wayne County. Got some young War Eagles out there uh, getting some uh, playing time here. And there's a handoff to you. Man land there, and he's going to get about two yards, maybe three on first down. Pitts checks in at linebacker, number 30. C.J. Chambers is uh, checking out. Chambers on the stop there. 
Page and uh, Howard are your safeties. There's going to be a handoff up the middle, and i tell you what, that's going to be sniffed out pretty quick with a great penetration by Robinson, number 99, a 6'1", 210-pound defensive lineman. Boy, he did a good job of just blowing off the shoulder of that tackle over there. Never checked up. Caught him behind the line of scrimmage. Brings up a third and nine. Nine forty-six to go in the contest. Thirty-six. Wayne County. Seven. West Jones. Two receivers to the left. One on the right for the Mustangs. Single back set. Looking to throw the ball. Going to fire one downfield, and it's going to be outside. High and outside. <laughs> Stops the clock. The three and out for the Mustangs. They're going to have to punt it again. Let's see. Williamson's going to go back to receive the punt. So uh, that that series didn't last long at all. Well, it's uh, when Monkey got set with his tail <laughs> on the railroad track. It's, it won't be long now. <laughs> oh boy! All right, the Mustangs are trying to try to punt this thing away. Williamson standing back there on his own uh, thirty. Good snap. Nice punt. Williams is going to catch it. Put it on the ground. Fumble it. And I believe, let's see if he got it back or the Mustangs got it. Williams has got the ball. So, Wayne County maintains possession on the punt at their own 30-yard line with the first and 10. 9-21 to go in the game. Wayne County 36. Another 40-yard punt. West, that's his magic number, isn't it? Seems to be. He's stuck on it for sure. 36 to 7. I tell you, Wayne high County. school, if you can average 30, if you can average 40 yards of punt in high school, that's pretty good. Take that all day. <laughs> you got that take right. Take it all day. Number five, Riley Ballard is in for Wayne County. JJ Walker is your big sophomore running back, 219 pounder. Probably gonna see a big man lean on him a little bit. William Bender, 39, checks in at wide receiver. 37 is in there at wide receiver. Warren, we got a timeout on the field. We'll take a 30-second break to the station and be back after this word from our sponsors. Uh, Raymond Rivette Timber LLC, Wayne County Timber Bowl, 2017. West Jones Mustangs coming over here to play in the Timber Bowl against our Wayne County High School War Eagles, and the War Eagles have had their way so far tonight, 36-7. to The only problem Wayne County had was on the opening kickoff when West Jones ran it back. Boy, that's the truth. J.J. Walker's in the running back, and he's going to get the ball up the field. He goes, no, oh, Kenny, he just ran over a West Jones Mustang on the way to a five-yard game. Tell you what, he ought to have a 60 or a 70 <laughs> on his jersey rather than a four, a six or a seven, maybe even a five. You're going to see a lot out of this kid for the years over, I guarantee you. It's 9 3 to go in the game. It's uh, He's he's going to be fun to watch. He plays linebacker, too. So, uh, well, he should. <laughs> he hits like a linebacker when he runs. There he goes again. And just Still on his feet. look at that. Got a first down. They hit him, Kenny, about three yards into that run. And then he got about another seven yards after contact pushing folks. Yeah, I mean, it just uh, he, he's just so smooth and uh, just does a good job. He keeps his pad level right. He and, really does. And uh, and keeps his tries to keep his shoulder square with the uh, with the field and, and it just uh, it's it's fun to watch him, especially for a guy that young. 8:32 to go. First and ten. Wayne County at their own 43 yard line. And there's another dose of Walker. And here he goes putting his head down. Kenny, look at this guy. I mean, he's just fighting for every yard. He's got about six yards on that first down carry. And I mean. Uh, of course, let's not sell the offensive line short now. We're talking about Walker running the ball, and he's running good. But now he's getting he's getting a chance to get started. Well, I mean, yeah, that's it. I mean, they're giving him enough room to kind of get his, you know, let his clutch out where he can kind of get going, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 758 to go in the game. 36 does Wayne County have as compared to seven for the Mustangs. And, Wayne County's looking at a 7-4. They're at right at midfield. There's Trey Williams is going to take the handoff, try to get on the right side, and he's going to break a tackle or two, but run out of run out of luck out there as they strung him out and tackled him for a nice loss. Well, I, you know, and that's one of the things that when you watch these guys do this on the high school level, it's like running parallel. So you're going out and run everybody. Well, no, you're not. No. 
and at some point you got to turn up field and and uh, he just uh, he stretched the play out but he just never got never got a vertical he stayed horizontal you know I dare say that 90 percent of our success running the ball has been between the tackles tonight on that dive oh that's uh, absolutely true and we're looking at third down and about seven yards to go right now and that's just a misdirection there by Brian Jackson he makes one miss and gets a seven first down here he goes down the sideline they're not going to catch him Kenny 10 five touchdown Wayne County and Zabron Jackson. Well, that's one of the things about him, that if he ever does let his clutch out, <laughs> you're not going to catch him. <laughs> you know, did you notice the way that play started? Everybody was coming to the left, and he just took it and went to the right, right by his car. Almost like a naked bootleg, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he just uh, he just took it and went. I mean, it was uh, uh, one of those things where uh, once he got going, uh, he hit the sideline, and it was just Katie bar the door. All right, on for another PAT. Mason to hold. He gets it down, and there's a nice kick, and let's see if it's any good, and it is good. So, with seven minutes to go in the football game, Wayne County, I believe, is going to have a 43-7 to lead. Here's a 30-second break back to the station. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Seventy-yard drive, longest drive of the night. All right, and it's culminated at uh, seven minutes to go in the game with a 43 to seven lead, and Mosley's on to kick it off one more time. Throws his ball, puts a foot in it, kicks it deep, Kenny, and that was going into the end zone once again. And uh, out to the 20 we come. First and ten for the Mustangs at their own 20-yard line. 43-7, Wayne County. I don't know. This might not be the about as big a point spread as we've seen in this thing. It has been in, in quite some time. Let's see here. I it's been to, several years. I happen to have this here. Wayne County. I don't see, going back over the series, I don't see the any time Wayne County has scored over 40. And they're over 40 tonight. Mustang quarterback, new quarterback's going to keep it, go around the left side. He's got some running room. Going to get himself a first down, I believe, before he gets knocked out of bounds by uh, Royal. Dusty Cook, quarterback. It's a rare first down for the Mustangs. Yeah, he picked up 10 yards, just what he needed. Spencer's in there, defensive lineman. I'll try to get some of these players called out for you. There's a handoff and a stoppage of play. It's going to be a penalty, I think, against West. Illegal procedure. Chuck West Turner's up front for Wayne County. Offside, Wayne County. Spencer's okay. uh, there. Defensive line. Arrington's up front. Three new, uh, three young defensive linemen. 29's out there is playing for Wayne County. That's the, that's Miller. Miko Miller. I'll get our safeties for you here in a minute. There's a handoff around the right side, and the Mustang running back's going to get out across uh, the 45-yard line. Number 88's going to be there to get him a stop, Dwayne West. We're trying to get where we can see. Everything's fogging up. Pickup of 11 yards in the first down. First down for the Mustang, 618 to go in the contest. There's a handoff and the bus and the Warriors are gonna get after him and uh, he just routes run, runs everybody and is gonna have about a nice seven or eight yard gain around the left side. I thought they had him at the line of scrimmage, Kenny, but they, would, they would have except for this hold they're fixing to get. It's holding call. Oh, okay. That always helps you get to the corner when you when you're dragging down the uh, the end of the linebacker <laughs> out there. <laughs> 
we are looking at uh, a timeout. So with six minutes to go in the contest and a 43-7 lead, we're going to take a 30-second break to the station. See you after this word from our sponsors. And it's a first and 10 at the uh, War Eagle 42 for the Mustangs with six minutes to go in the contest. Two receivers both ways for the Mustangs. They got themselves a big old running back back there. I don't know if that's Land or... No, that's not Land. He's a big one. And uh, had a quarterback's going to keep it, go around the left side and find a little luck there. We're going to run out of luck after about a three-yard game. It must be their version of Walker. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a big one. I said, we got one. <laughs> <Good, buddy. laughs> All right, second about seven. Maybe eight yards to go. 5.33 in county. 43, Wayne County, seven for the Mustangs. They're in Wayne County territory with the football. And the ball's on the ground and the snap. The quarterback's going to have to go back and get it and fall on it at his own 45-yard line for a big loss. Bad yeah. snap. 15-yard loss. Should make it a third and 23, maybe. I'll go with that. Five minutes and counting in the contest. Third and 23, says Kenny, with a 43-7 Wayne County uh, lead at this point. There's a quarterback's going to keep it up the middle. He's got some room, Kenny, and here he goes, and he's going to get down to back to about the original line of scrimmage. Going to bring up about fourth down and 10. Robinson, number 99, checking in for the War Eagle defense. And, Looks like uh, the Mustangs are going to punt it away again. No, I don't know. Backing out. Maybe they go for it on third, and, on fourth and ten. They're inside War Eagle territory at about the 43-yard line. And, I mean, they're trailing 43-7 to seven with 4.30 to go in the contest. I don't know why. You know, they're just trying to get a little, salvage a little something out there, make something positive happen to get them a good, go out on a good note maybe here if they can get a first down and get some points. Quarterback's going to move to his right, looking to throw. He's going to tuck it down and run and be short of the first down by a long way. Probably five or six. He's uh, going to be about seven, eight yards short, so he's going to turn the ball over on downs again. The clock stops straight up at 4 o'clock to go in the contest, 43-7, to seven, Wayne County. I'd like to remind all fans and spectators, there will be no fans and spectators on the field for 10 minutes after the conclusion of the last whistle. So we are uh, getting close. Wayne County's got another possession. I think if you see Zabiron back on the field, I don't think you will. You but don't. If you, yeah. Number nine is going to be the quarterback, Julian Julian Ayers. He's a sophomore. It would just be for uh, just be for some reps. That would be the only reason you'd want to do that. That's our second sophomore quarterback right there. He's going to hand the ball to Walker, and Walker's going to plow ahead for about two yards right up the middle of the field. Yeah, Jackson's done, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So what you're trying to do now is just run the football and the clock, let the play clock run down, get down to about five seconds and snap the ball. We ought to get inside three minutes before we snap this, this one right here, second and eight. Ayers and Walker. Ayers is your quarterback. Walker's your running back. We're down to three minutes now, and here's the snap. And uh, going to fall. The quarterback's going to fumble it. Ayers is going to run without the football, and the Mustangs are going to have it at the 34-yard line. 2:55 to go in the contest, and Wayne County turns the ball over. That's the first time they. Well, no, no, they turned it over a couple times. But uh, 2.55 to go, 43 does Wayne County have against seven for the Mustangs. But now the Mustangs are got a ball first and 10 inside the 35 of the War Eagles. War Eagles defense is yet to give up any points tonight. Mustangs are sure like to get some. Their only points came on a opening kickoff return for a touchdown, and the War Eagles are going to string that out. That old... Big quarterback there is going to have about an eight-yard gain on first down. Yeah, good job. Ball with a snap. Kind of jumped on him, and he pulled it down. And 
headed to the left side, found himself a little opening over there and picked up about eight yards. He looks like he's about six, four or five. He's a big boy. 2.30 to go in the contest, 43 to seven, Wayne County lead. There's a handoff and some running room for the Mustangs. They're gonna get tackled and thrown down inside the 20. Number 91 on the stop for Wayne County. That's Spencer, sophomore defensive end. 200 and, uh, let's see here, 235 pounder. Good looking kid. Had a big game last week in the JV game at uh, Biloxi. Here's the quarterback keeper around the right side. He's got plenty of room to run. He's going to get down inside the 10, down to about the five yard line for a first and goal. And we're inside two minutes in the contest right now. Joshua Howard's checking back in at linebacker. 159 to go. 35, Joshua Franks on the stop. Oh, it looks like it's about on the five yard line. All righty, 43 to seven, Wayne County, West Jones threatening. And uh, there goes the quarterback, and I mean number 44 came across there and hit him in the backfield for Wayne County, and that would be Jeremy Reed. He stepped across that line of scrimmage and gobbled him up. 134 in county. Looks like second and uh, goal. Ball's on, what is it, on the Kenny, somewhere around the seven. five. Seven yard line. I know Wayne County's defense would like to keep him out. There's a snap and the handoff. No, it's a, he faked the handoff and made a pass across the middle and uh, Wayne County had pressure on the quarterback and coverage on the receiver and an incomplete pass stops the clock at 108. 108 in the contest. Wayne County 43. West Jones 7. Third and goal to go for the Mustangs. Third and goal. There's your snap and it's kind of fumbled a little bit, but the quarterback picks it up and he's going to get buried back around the 14 yard line. And there's Jeremy Reed again. Yeah, good Jimmy. job, Bo, Jeremy. You know, he played running back last year, and they got him playing linebacker now, and he's having a good night tonight. Inside a minute in the contest, 43 to seven, Wayne County. And it's fourth and five, fourth and goal from about the 11 or 12 yard line. Well, no, no, 13 yard line. Yeah, 13. Trips right for the Mustangs. Back to throw, there's the pressure. They get after him. They sack him at the 20 yard line and that's Jeremy Reed on the sack. So that's gonna do it. They're gonna let the clock run on this thing. So uh, we're gonna be able to put the chairs in the wagon on this one because church is about out. They're gonna stop the clock at 21 seconds. Danny Don used to say that, put the chairs in the wagon because church is out. I don't know why they, uh, they decided, I guess, to stop it. We've got 21 seconds left in the contest. Wayne County 43, West Jones 7, and the clock is running again. Well, that brings tonight's contest to a close with the final score. Wayne County 43, West Jones 7. We're going to break to the station for 60 seconds, and then Kenny's going to come back to give us a, a live recap of all that's going on tonight. So we'll see you after this break. Here we are on the field with uh, Coach Mangum, uh, post-game show. First game of the year, big win tonight, Coach. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, opening kickoff and running back for a touchdown, and gosh, dog, how to, <laughs> how, how to start a first game, you know. We, we defer so that uh, we get the ball the second half. We kick off so we can play defense, and, and they run it back. But, you know, gosh, look, you know, effort. Uh, that we had 40 some odd unanswered points uh, and everything. I thought we left some points on the field in the first half. Thought penalties were our worst mistake the first half, uh, especially offensively. We had some penalties, so got to clean that up. But I mean, gosh, when you come out and win your first game, that's always good. That's a big deal. You know, you, let's talk about the defense for a minute. I'm talking. I mean. Defense didn't give up any points. I mean, that was that was a phenomenal effort and some big plays up front, 
on the edges, defensive backs, couple of pick sixes. I mean, you can't say enough. Bivens was just, man, just killing folks in there tonight. Yeah, I thought our front played really well. I thought, gosh, our outside linebackers, you know, both one on each side had pick sixes. And when you score, you know, 14 points on defense, that's that's always great. You know, we love to score any way we can, especially score on defense and everything. So, uh, you know, we got to clean some things up, uh, of course. But, uh, you know, I, I'm just so proud for our players and our coaches. Well, we're proud for and of y'all, too. Uh, you know, we're gonna, we know it's late. We're going to cut you loose. we got a big oh, game. Actually, it's early. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess well, it I mean, depends on how you look at it. depends on how you look at it. It could be early. It could be late. All righty. Well, you know, uh, you and I were talking, and I mentioned this to you the other night. I said, how great would it be to have an opportunity to beat Wes Jones and uh, Oak Grove back-to-back? Well, one down, one to go. As you can't be 2-0 and until you're 1-0, and <laughs> and we're 1-0 right now. And we'll go back to work and, uh, you know, get ready for a good Oak Grove team next week. Congratulations. We appreciate you taking time now. Take care of your, your, your charges, and we'll, we'll wrap this up. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to take a break and be back with uh, k Dog and the Dream right after this word from our sponsor. Man, I tell you, what a good place to be. Standing here in the middle of these two machines, k Dog, the Dream, what more could a football fan want? That's what Sleep. I – Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you know, let's see what you have to offer us here, statistically speaking, here tonight. All right, real quick, run them down. Wayne County, 18 first downs, 229 yards rushing, 124 passing, no punts. If you don't punt in your season opener, that's a pretty good thing. 194 return yards, 2304 time of possession. West Jones, 10 first downs, 57 yards on the ground, 39 through the air, uh, seven punts, 222 return yards, but of course 100 of those came on that opener. Three of 12 on uh, third downs, 0 of 2 on fourth downs, uh, individual, or well, one thing, penalties, you know, Coach Mangum talked about cleaning things up, 12 penalties for 105 yards on Wayne County, 14 for 115 on West Jones, uh, individually, Zavon Jackson, 67 yards rushing, Trey Williamson, uh, 59, uh, J.J. Walker, 35, Josh Page, 33, uh, Wesley, 56 yards passing, Jackson, 68, Jackson also caught two passes for 43 yards, so busy night for him. Uh, Williamson, 43 yards on that one catch. Defensively, Quentin Bivens, uh, nine tackles, uh, a sack and a pass breakup. Jeremy Reed, eight tackles. C.J. Chambers, seven. Ryland, Riley R Ravon, six. Two sacks from Jeremy Reed, one from Jeremy Sibley, and then the one from Bivens. Uh, interceptions from Rodriguez Watkins and Josh Howard. Both of them return to the house for scores. Not a bad night. Thank you, Paul. Kenny, you want to wrap it up for us? And uh, it's getting late here tonight. Looking at what Paul's got to say, it kind of translates to what we saw. Absolutely. I mean, defense played a really good football game tonight. Uh, offense looked better than they probably should have for a first game, uh, first week out. So, uh, all in all, you, you, you've got a good place to start to get ready for uh, a really, really, really good Oak Grove team next week. I mean, they've got a bunch of hot shot players and, and uh, you know, we're going to have to go over there and try to find some way to block a couple and slow some more down. Well, uh, Paul, you want to say anything else before we get out of here? No, I mean, it's better to be 1-0 and than 0-1. Yeah, we'll take it. And I tell you what, we're going to look forward to next week when we travel over to Oak Grove to take on the old Warriors. So we want you to plan on being there next Friday night to support your War Eagles uh, one more time as we go over there and take on those old Warriors. So, so for uh, – Paul Keen and uh, Kenny Yoda, my Marshall Wood, uh, saying good night, drunk, drunk, punch drunk. Hello, hello. But anyway, we'll see you next week for more Wayne County High School Oregon football.